I can't see the stream. Uh, one second. Oops. Oops. Hang on. Mm -hmm. There it is. Alright, thank you. Alright, thank you. Uh, yeah, it should be live. Yeah, oh, I think I'm good now. Music. There's the music. Okay, good. Alright. Yeah, everything's live. I mean, we should start seeing people drop in. Wait, 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 Hey, at least you can. I get a shot. I get a shot. That's all I need. What's up, Sean? All you need is a chance. Oh my god. Holler. Most productive lake you fish. Alright, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> get right into it, eh? <laughs> Alright, ask how's volume on uh, microphone? Well, I'll come sit down and I'll just smoke quiet. We'll do it this way. How we doing, friends? All that camera blocking my view, but that's okay. Hey, everybody. How you doing? How you been? Tonight, because there's giveaways. Oh, damn right. Holy crap! That chat's banging off. Okay. Oh, all right. Fishing hey. mode right off the bat. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, dude. You. <laughs> Holy crap! Let me get caught up. Jeez. Sean. Hey. Trent. Rich. Richard. Eric. Dick. Dick. <laughs> Colton. Hey, buddy. Mark, David, Jonathan Blake, John Mango, Christopher, Kotu, Pendog, uh, Josh, Josh. Thank you again, friend. I finally, I'm, I can't, nope, nope, I just, I got into a thing I've been trying to get into for the last couple weeks. Yes! <laughs> Excited about it. Starting off a good night. Dog Swampy with that. Trent. <laughs> Sam Potter, hey buddy. And Lisa, thank you for joining us again. Fishing with Jake, Jonathan. I set this whole thing up, like, ideal for you. Terrible for me because the webcam is blocking the first, like, like the three most recent comments. <laughs> uh, enjoy the catch. Hey. All right. Let me ooh, do a little adjustment here. Bring that up a little bit. Um, I'm not comfortable. Can we break down the, the new Northeast? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no comment. Um, I'm not getting into it. Nope. If you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Hey, Time to wait for my car. I'm about to get a guy. Nah, dude, get it, Colton. Oops, sorry. Making a lot of noise. Crack it open. All right, we're back to the vodka cherry soda because it's delicious. Hey, Paul. Evening, sir. Chris, good evening. Um, we'll get started in a minute here. Sorry for the couple minutes late notice, but I was trying to get in basically in a raffle on Facebook that I've been trying to get in for a while, and I finally got it, so... That took me a few minutes to get involved. Um, there we go. There's confirmation of all that stuff. Brandon Curly, yeah, you may have. We got a lot to talk about. What do you say? <laughs> you, oh, you did. For my <laughs> broken wing. <laughs> yeah. So take these broken wings. Yeah, I got Where a broken is... wing. Actually, yeah, Sean did fish there the other day, I think. Who? Me? Yeah, you. What'd I do? Fish Oh, God. <laughs> Bad time to go. And I knew it. I told my buddy Travis. I went my buddy Travis Rocket, right? He's a guide in New Hampshire. And uh, we, he was like, he was hyped for it. He, Dude, he just went and caught, landed three over five pounds, all largemouth, and then caught a fourth. They lost the boat. There was another four plus, or five plus. So, um... It was feeling good until all the snow came through Friday. It shut everything down. But it, it was worth the risk. And then we went to a uh, different lake down the street, uh, Lake Wentworth. And that actually went pretty well. So, not too shabby. Um, Trent. But we can, we can dive into that a little bit more. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Trent. Hold, thank you. Jesus, hey. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Trent. Jesus, right off the friggin' bat. <laughs> Doing great. Can you get a break down the broken wrist? That's the first thing we're covered. So the streams always start with what we did most recently, right? And he obviously has the biggest news to share. Yeah. Mm. Boy broke his arm hosting so. those pigs. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> hey, speaking of Travis, there he is. <laughs> hey, Ben. So I was skateboarding and doing something I've done my entire life. Skateboard. I was in skateboarding since I was practically in diapers. And... I just came up off the ramp a weird way, and I, I landed 
I put my wash out backwards and I put my arm down to catch myself and all my weight came right down on it and it, I heard it snap and break and and rather right at the right as soon as it happened I was like oh well that that's broken <laughs> and so buddy took me to the hospital got x-rays done and I had broken the uh, the radius completely in half and then I got another vertical fracture coming up the um, Ulma or something like that. I forget. Do you what know better than me? I forget the other bone. Uh, but I got another vertical fracture coming up here, so there's not going to be much fishing for me this for I don't know how long. Right as of right now, I got to go back for X-rays on Monday. I'm hoping that it's all back. It's going to heal right. Um, they say they may have to go in and re-break it. Um. As of right now, there's no surgery, so we're gonna. I'm hoping, hoping for the best of this. Um, they said the least amount of time was four weeks, and could possibly be a lot longer. So, as of right now, I cannot, I cannot fish at all, yeah. or do anything else. So. It's no bueno. Nope. Let me get away from that a little bit. You Ulna, Ooh, Ulna, Ulna, Ulna. That's Olna, Olna and Radio. Olna and Radio. Yeah, they're both broken. <laughs> hey, Gordy. Uh, Sam wants to know how's casting with that. Ew. There is none. Yeah, there is none. There's no casting. For now. For, For now. now. I'm I'm still, like, you're going to be able I'll do that. You can use all my spitting rods for the rest of the year. Like, when you get to a point where you're like, yep, I can at least just, like, right. club the reel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now, literally, like, I mean, this is, I mean, it's full, but I literally cannot... There's, there's nothing there. Can't do it. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we'll we'll figure it out. You won't yeah, be out I'll for long. Ah, yeah. uh, Richard asked first broken bone ever. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, fishing mode. No, not yet. I still have to do that, man. I, this new job this week has put me on my back foot. Uh, it is. It's actually, it's been great, um, but it's still the same commute that I had before. So early mornings, and I'm just, I'm dead tired. So uh, I'm trying to get to it, but trying to balance the job, this, everything else, it's been a little difficult this week. Um, and I just got into a tournament for the weekend, um, like an online tourney thing. So I'm not going to get to it this weekend because I wasn't planning on going fishing tomorrow, but now I am right after work. <laughs> you know where I'm going to. Exactly right? going. Driving right by it on my way home. <laughs> yep. Give that a shot. And then uh, I'll fish Saturday afternoon. I'm going to fish all day Sunday in the pouring rain. And hope for the best. Trent said, real with your teeth. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam Potter said, get well. Thanks. Donk Swampy is going to catch all your fish. Go ahead. Spin dude. your drag. Start a reel. <laughs> Tell the cast to the reel. Windmill your arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you tell me where to fish for you and I'll go get them. Thank you, Gene. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> Give him a snoopy run. <laughs> fish and I'll go get them. I mean, I could just show you where they are. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, nice, Richard. I didn't start a new job, too. That's awesome, man. Well, uh, we're going to get this stream going, too, here in a second. Uh, Sir Altitude. No, it's actually exit 6 off 89. Um, so depending which way I go, uh, in the mornings, I like to go the highway because I usually have to stop to use the bathroom at some point. And there's nowhere to you go with the back roads. So I go up 93 to 89. Easy. And then, but the back roads, I, I take back roads home. Um, and then that's not that bad. On the way in, going all highway, it's 46 miles. On the way home, it's 33 miles. Uh, but it's it's only a five minute difference. So it's not bad. Just like a sit in the back for a kayak. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan. How you doing? Give me a tube. Um. Okay, <laughs> fishing mode. I got your message. It's uh, it, I, I, oh, we'll talk later. Um, there's ever but yeah, but I don't have to pee. That's the problem. <laughs> you can pee out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, been through. This time of video. Okay, Trent. We'll get to that. So first off, let's recap the most recent fishing adventures, which was. For me, this past Sunday, someone was supposed to come with me, but he decided he wanted to break his wrist instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was supposed to go, and <laughs> I could, I told him we were at the skate park together Saturday. I'm like, give me a call when you're done. He's like, okay, and calls me an hour later. I don't think I'm coming tomorrow. <laughs> First words I said was, "What did you do?" <laughs> I broke my wrist. <laughs> it was pretty gnarly. 
<laughs> it sounded worse than it looked. Yep. It was pretty loud. Anyway, let's go back to fishing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, Jake, the back deck is open soon. Um, this weekend is already tied up. I, there's, dude, I, I owe a lot of trips to people. Um, a lot of people. I gotta get caught up on this list of IOUs. So, holy crap, there's a lot of people here. You guys are all here for free stuff, aren't you? Let's get into it. All right. <laughs> so last got? Sunday, I owe my buddy Travis Rocket. Speaking of people I owed a trip to. I haven't fished with him yet this year. And he was really feeling good about Ossipi. Um, good reports from guys he knows. Doing pretty well. Not going to tell you specific spots or anything, but uh, it looked like it was going to be good, man. The first spot we rolled up on, we were marking bass and bait everywhere, and they were not happening. Um, second spot, Travis caught like a decent little smallmouth and a jerk bait, and that was it. Four hours. One. And coincidentally enough, that was the first fish in my boat from anybody on a jerk bait. All friggin' season. I've been out 13 times now. That's the first one. And I've fished with three people in the boat a couple of times, too. Everybody throwing jerk baits. Been a weird year for jerk baits, and it's not just us. I've talked to some other people, and like the jerk bait bite, for the most part, has been really off this year for a lot of people, and mm. like people that like live by the jerk bait. Um, something's up. I don't know. Just maybe a conditional thing. Whatever it is. So four hours in, like I was wicked frustrated. So I said, screw it. Let's. Um, I don't know what to do. He's like, well, let's go down the street to Wentworth because I did pretty well there. Uh, and I misspoke earlier. That's where he caught all the fives. And, but everything had cooled way down from all that snow we got Friday. You know, it's only Sunday morning. It's 36 hours after the snow stopped. And every hill and mountain up there was covered in snow. So they got a good amount up that way. But Wentworth is a lot smaller, a um, lot shallower. So we went up there. Uh, at that point now, it was at like 12 o'clock, I think, is when we launched in. Uh, and first spot was okay. We, we tried the back pocket. The wind was coming out of it, though, so I didn't feel good about it. Didn't really see anything. Came back out to that transition area, man. What do I keep talking about? If they're not in and it's too warm for them to be way out deep, work that break. So we came right out and went from four feet and rolled down to seven. And like third cast, I caught my first fish on the jerk bait of the year. And it was like a two and a half pound smallmouth. And then right on the heels of that, Travis caught one on the jerk, uh, jerk bait as well. It was like a three and a half pound largemouth. And then nothing for a little bit. So we bounced around a couple other spots. Uh, I think it was the third spot we hit. I don't remember now. It was the second or third spot we hit. I caught another like two and a half pound smallmouth on that Vision 110 working uh, over like a rocky ridge line in like eight to 10 feet of water. If you saw this, you would have nodded. Dude, it was a magical spot. I can't wait to go back there now. Um, huh. And we went and fished a wind blowing point. And actually, Travis missed two more on the, the uh, chatter bait on that spot. And, but at the very bottom, I caught my third and final fish, like another two and a half pound smallmouth on the back of a naked chatter bait with the Beast Coast Miyagi trailer, which I was kind of a little surprised about. Uh, and then the fourth and final spot, windblown point. We tried jerk bait, chatter bait, really worked the chatter bait hard, and I worked two different ones. Uh, he had two big fish falling right back to the boat. I broke something off in the last few minutes, and I had to go. Uh, I didn't want to be out too late because I started the new job on Monday, and I wanted to you know, make sure I got at least a decent amount of sleep going into it. So, um, yeah. It was not as productive as I'd hoped, but I've had worse days, so I'll take that. Um, let's see here. Wow, we missed a lot while I was just talking. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. All right, Trent. Uh, Trent, we'll get to your question. Best type of bait for this time of year been tough for me in the Rochester area. All right, we can, we'll unpack that. Um, there's one. Gene, get some <laughs> tubes, dude. Tubes? Love tubes. I think she was talking about me tubing behind her boat. Oh, that too. <laughs> I thought you were talking about... <laughs> or tubes. We were fishing tubes, too. Yeah, that. We were fishing tubes in a tube. Yeah. Well, while tubing. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, Josh. You're one of the few people I know that have been killing it on the jerkbait. Um, I know Hammer Time's got a few. <laughs> um, yeah, the TV said, sorry about the one arm, Andrew. Oh, thanks. Paul, at least you've had a couple of hits on it. Like I said, literally one day, 13 trips that we've... Anybody in my boat, not just me, anybody, has caught a jerkbait fish. That's the most surprising thing. Uh, Richard, that is a good question. What do I do for work? Uh, so actually, I'm, I'm actually willing to answer that for the first time in my YouTube life. I was a mechanical design engineer for the majority of my career. And then in 2017, I took a promotion and I became a product design supervisor. Uh, and then from there, I bounced around for a few years. Um, I was a, an engineering team lead. I was an engineering supervisor, though in that role, that was really not appropriately titled. I was the engineering manager, in effect. I was literally responsible for 100% of 
of all engineering responsibilities and duties for that facility, um, as well as a team of four engineers. And it was kind of a small facility, um, so it wasn't a crazy big team. And then I went back to being a mechanical engineer, um, lost my job at that place from the coronavirus pandemic. That that sucked. It was uh, very abrupt, too. It went from like weekly meetings with my boss, like, hey, everything's good, everything's good, everything's good. Everything's not good. We're down 55% in sales and changes are coming, and I got laid off two days later. <clears throat> and then I was out of work for four months. Got a job, temporary contract as another mechanical engineer role. Um, I I'm burnt out, man. I can't do that anymore. So, at least for now. So I decided, screw it. Um, started looking at some other roles. Oddly enough, through a contact I know, through fishing. We had talked before in the last, last, you know, my last job back in July last year. And I reached out to him again. I'm like, you got any more hits? And he's like, we're actually looking for some stuff. So we shoot the shit for a few hours. Um, had an interview scheduled with him, the VP of sales, I believe his title is. I already forgot off the top of my head. And the CEO of the company. Now I'm a business development manager. So I'm going to be helping out a lot with the sales side of things and helping the business grow. Which is actually really awesome because I've kind of had a role similar to this in the past. So that's what I'm doing now. It's going to be fun. Um, all right. I guess I have people to say hi to. Hey, Z02. Hey. Um, oh God. All right. Let's back this up really quick. Who said the Rochester? Oh, we're going to give stuff away. All right. Let me answer one question. Then we'll give the first thing away. Huh. Where was that question? Oh, Trent, best bait, best type of bait for this time of the year. You know this. There's, there's three that I know I'm going to recommend right off the top of my head. Best bait for what type of, for what? For this time of the year. For this time of year? Yeah. We've talked about three of them nonstop almost every stream. Yeah, pretty much. Let me go? Oh yeah, you go. Jig, jerk bait, chatter bait. Bingo. <laughs> That's it. Like you're, it's kind of tough to tell where the fish are going to be. But all three cover one covers one extreme extremely well. The jig on the bottom. There's your bottom contact. One covers them if they're purely suspended. Looking up or looking down doesn't matter. In the middle of the water column, you're gonna get them. Jerk bait. Depending on what they're doing, sometimes it can be down low and they're feeding up, or they're just kind of cruising a little bit off the bottom, but they're more reactionary. Chatter bait gets the rest of them. Like any one of those three is a fantastic starting point. You can't go wrong. Uh da -da 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 -da. okay. Sean Miller. Yeah, yeah, I saw the pictures, you jerk. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Did, oh, you weren't in that group chat. He sent me and John a bunch of pictures. He was up at the oh, brownie yeah. factory. I don't want to see it. Yeah, he had a bunch of good smallies. <laughs> a couple of fat fours. I'm really jealous about literally everybody in this room right now because I can't go fishing at all. So. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Pour one out for our friend Andrew. Need help? No, you got it. All right. Um... <laughs> Need help. <laughs> Need a hand? <laughs> uh, Richard. All right. Let me unpack a few questions before we get to the first giveaway of the night. How do you find transition to staging areas in a bowl shaped pond lakes? You want to start? How do I what? Sorry. How, How do you, you find, find transition staging areas in bowl shaped ponds and lakes? Anywhere there where there's a flat, really. And look for the deep water line. And yeah, where there's a deep water line on. You know, Navionics, or you may even be able to see it on Google Maps sometimes if the lake is clear enough. Yep. Um, you don't need a super fancy fish finder, but having something, even with at least 2D sonar, so you can get depth, it's good enough. Who's that? Just keep bombing around until you find it. Oh, I, I fished without a fish finder in my boat for a long time. I did too. Yeah. And then I had only just 2D sonar. One little four and a half inch Lowrance LMC, whatever it was, black and white. For like three years. And then I got a seven inch 2D sonar <laughs> with GPS on it uh, and no map card for the first year. There's a lot you can do with just using a good pair of polarized sunglasses and looking at your 2D sonar. Yep. Um, That's all I have in my boat. Jonathan Blake, how do you like the drop shot? I live by the drop oh, shot. Drop shots always works. Jig and drop shot are my two favorite things to do because they're the two best producing techniques I have for largemouth and smallmouth. Um, case in point, I already had one custom drop shot rod made from Wicked Custom Rods, which broke in a fit of rage. And I deeply regret that. It was a tough time when I lost my job last year. So I'm having another one built. And this one is pure sex. It is going to be built off of the North Fork Composites X-Ray Blank. Am I getting that one too now? No, you're getting the um, MHX one. Oh, maybe I'm not. I don't know. I don't remember. Which which ones did we order? No, you're getting the swim bait x-ray blank. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's another way to talk about. But so, 
the rod built is a 7.2 medium light rated up to 5 8 ounce built like the whole kit and caboodle uh, just missing a reel only weighs 2.3 ounces yeah that's pretty light that's insane that is utter insanity it's got ceramic guides on it uh i'm gonna couple that with my lose custom pro speed spin so the whole thing uh 3000 no 4000 series so the whole thing all said and done is only gonna weigh like 13 ounces i'm so excited yeah that's <laughs> That's nuts. It's going to be like 10 times more sensitive than my previous rod. And the previous one they built for me was ridiculous. Um, holy crap. Okay. We're not even going to get this. Glide bait's been working for me here in central New Hampshire. Caught some twos last week. Then water temp was 44 last week. And lost a five pounder next to my yak on an eight inch glide. Damn. I hate when you lose eight five pounders next to the boat. I still haven't caught a single fish in a glide, but I had the second biggest bass I've ever seen in my life. I, I pulled it right to the boat and I couldn't catch it. And that's where I caught that three and three quarter on the mag draft right after that. Um, small 55 acre. Damn. Live on a fish, a small 55 acre pond. Do you have a different approach to fishing in a small versus large pond lakes? Yeah, just fish hard. <laughs> yeah. Um, Pretty much. You you take that one first. Which one? Hit that Which question. 55? Like what if you were fit, any one of our fifty five acre ponds? What do we usually do when we start? I go straight to the structure. I go straight to trees or anywhere where I know that there's rocks or anywhere there's a steep bank, and I just work that area hard. And if they're not biting there, then I usually go out to like the flats or anything, and I start working a chatter bait or a jerk bait or depending on if it's later in the night, I'll throw the rat and I'll work those flats with a rat. Yep. And if it's the middle of summer, there's lily pads on there. Don't be afraid to throw a jig or any type of Texas rig, anything in there, and bounce it around. Yeah, it's actually um, probably get onto that right now too. Probably with the grass coming up, starting to come up at least. Well, not today with the snow we just had. Oh my god! Yeah, that legit snowed again here in New Hampshire. That was fun. Um, yeah, I do a lot of the same. Like I. I I do a lot of my work on the computer. We covered this in a stream a couple weeks ago and identify what I consider my highest probability, highest areas for highest probability of success. And I attack it with my favorite techniques first that make the most sense for that time of the year in the water conditions, water temp, whole nine yards. Uh, and I will start with a jig and some form of moving bait, spinner bait, chatter bait, crank bait, lipless, whatever. I just kind of go like that. <laughs> Justin, you gotta move to Texas. That's how you do that. Yeah, don't, don't. Yeah. Did you see that? They're on Lake Fork today. Yeah, I saw. Oh my God, they're hammering them. Yep. Um, Insane. All right, hold off on the questions. Let me answer oh, just a couple more. So I have to pause on the questions for a second. Let me get caught up. We can do the first giveaway item of the night. Sam Potter, best color for a chatterbait. Loaded question. What kind of water are you fishing, buddy? Um, that. What time of the year? What's water temp? Black and blue or red. Black and blue or red. Bingo. To start the season. <laughs> I've had some luck on a bluegill-ish or perch kind of color scheme. Um, as you get closer, like spawn, like water, like 60 degrees, that's when that kind of perchy bluegilly color tends to do a little bit better. I'll still stick with the black and blue and super stained water. Um, and then I'll actually start playing around with white in really clear water. Though I've only had moderate success with that. Success with that. I typically do better with spinner baits by that point in the year anyway. <laughs> but I have it just in case because you never know. Really gets it. It's difficult. <laughs> um, vodka soda. I know it's really carbonated. It's the only problem they have with this. It says zero carbs. That was a dad joke. <laughs> Got him. That was a dad joke. You <laughs> bastard. <laughs> um, Joe Sin. Anyone know how good the fish are at Quabbin? <laughs> just go. Yeah, just go. It's magical. Don't ask. I've never just even go. been, and I know it's magical. The place is insane. Oh, Mark, that sucks. Lost his large, PB large in the glide. Mm. That's how our buddy Travis lost one to Hammer Time, the place you've been telling me about come up to last two years ago. He was texting us, dude, I got like a five and a six uh, largemouth, and then like a couple of four smallmouth. Then I, he's like, it was gone. Largemouth, PB largemouth, it's gone. Travis Herring? Yeah. And yeah, we were just talking about the other day. He's like, that's how I lost, what I lost my PB on. It's like a glide. Yeah. I know what you're yeah. Um,. Holy crap, I really hope you guys stop with the questions. I'm like way far behind. All right, we need to give something away. Yeah, we do. Like uh, what type of mag draft do you throw? Equi one? Um, the eight inch and the regular, the one that's already pre-rigged. 
Green Pumpkin Jackhammer got me 6 1 Tuesday. That's right, John. You sent me that. No way use Truce and White Chatter. That's Kyle, I, I've, I've got him. I'm trying. Just haven't made it work yet. Triple happen. Yep. Watch this eight swim away from a buddy near there. Yeah, I believe it. Hey, David's here. Wonderful timing. All right, good. Awesome. Thank you for holding those questions. Let's do the first one. What do you want to give away first? Rod? And some decals? Yeah. Or a t-shirt. No, let's do a rod first. We have more rods. We'll, we'll give away t-shirts in the middle of it. We'll do a, we'll do a t-shirt next. We'll start with a rod. I'm thinking the Abu. Yeah, I'll do yeah, the Abu. All right. First. So there's currently 65 concurrent viewers. I have no idea if that's going to hold up or not. I got you. I got you. Uh, this is an Abu Garcia. 6'6", six, six, medium fast, rated 1 quarter to 5 eighths ounce. What is this? Oh, it's a Vendetta. Next gen. It's in good shape, dude. Like, Yeah, they, they're all in good shape. He, even, he literally used them for like a season and was like, you know what? I'm going all big swim baits, and that's all he uses now. I'm so not, he gave me all of these to give away. So it's got the aluminum reel seat. It's got foam grips. I'm not going to get it too close because it's going to throw off the zoom on the camera. But even where the... Um, Yo, know, hook keeper is on the rod. There's no rod rash on this. This, this is friggin' and I said it in the video. It's like these are in impeccable shape. Yeah, it's a pretty good rod. So, uh, with that said, let's do pick a random number. Um, hang on, and I have uh, eight twenty nine, but I'll woo. call it eight thirty on my phone. Um, so we'll go to eight thirty two by my phone. It gives a little over two minutes. You got a random. I'll do the random number generator. Uh, let's pick a random number between one and two hundred. Oh the next two minutes. In the meantime, if someone wants to throw a question in there too, we can answer one. We'll wait for this to go. One in two hundred. That's right. It is. But I mean, I kind of like those odds. There's six. Wow, sixty-six. <laughs> All you do is give away a couple of rods. All of a sudden, you have your best turnout for the stream yet. <laughs> no. Yeah, the money ain't there yet, though. Let's go. Let's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny he mentions that. Um, we we did the whole uh, apparel sale thing, and the goal behind that wasn't to make money. And if I wanted to make money, I wouldn't have done it the way we did it. I would have bought everything on my own and sold it all, and I would have like almost tripled my profits probably. But I just wanted a nice, easy, seamless way of me getting my own gear because I love this freaking hoodie. I love the new hat. Like Mint Print Works does incredible work, and we picked phenomenal quality products to be have our stuff made on. Um, uh, but nonetheless, it's still made like 200 bucks, which is pretty good for selling like 70 items. Definitely. <laughs> What is it? 420. <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> um, so with that, plus all the donations we got, we're 60% of the way to getting that new webcam. Not webcam. Digital camera for the streams. Although I think what I originally was going to get, I'm going to change. Because I think the one that I had sourced out is the Sony a6400. It's a couple generations old, which isn't a bad thing. I can make it like record continuously. By the way, you have less than a minute to get your numbers in. Um, it'll work for the streams great, but I don't think we can have the live preview like window flip up from the back so we can actually see it. So I can just reach over here and like, okay. you know, if we screw up the focus, I can actually just reach forward and grab the thing like, <laughs> and, and refocus it. And make should it work. auto refocus. I would like to think so. Uh, but it would be nice to have like that additional option to be able to see it. I don't think the one I spec'd out did, but that's okay because there's like a dozen other different ones at that price point that I can make work. Plus, I already bought a battery eliminator cable for a Nikon. Oh, okay. And so that was a forty dollar thing, so I really <laughs> should probably just get another Nikon. How do you target bass? Where was that go up? Holy crap! Oh, love the shirts. No cheap tees. Who do you see? Damn right, Mark. And they're thank nice. you. How do you target bass more and try to limit my pickerel catches? Kind of Go to a different lake. Yeah. Sorry, it's like it's that came off wicked dickish, but I I mean it. It's if you got that many tough. pickerel, it's there's some ponds we go to that are just loaded with pickerel, and you really got to work through them to get to the bass. It's like, closed. No more. No more numbers. Gene, you were the last one. Gene, did I see you pick multiple times? You did. Cheater. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Stop it. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Keep answering. Oh, thank you, Ben. Um, I'll look into that one. Yeah, just I'd go to a different lake. If you don't want to deal with the pickerel, just go to a different lake. It's a pain in the ass. All right, random number generator. So, so you can see it's one through 200. It says one right now because I haven't hit generate. Uh, I really hope that doesn't throw it off. So I'm going to, without flipping it around, 
Oh my god, 194. Really? <laughs> 194. Is there a 194. <laughs> Hopefully that show up. Hang on, we got a little delay on our end. Yep, all right, that showed up. 194. Um, oh, it'd be easier if I had a keyboard so I could actually search. I'm just going right to the top of this. I'll be, I will laugh so hard if someone got 194. We're not doing closest pick either. It's got to be exact. Or I'll just draw another number. Oh, God, there's a 199. Um, a, a 198. 198. <laughs> what? Oh, 164. Yeah, 144. 154. I don't see a 194. Damn you, Dan, you can't do that. All right, we're going to pick another one. <laughs> All right, still on 194. Generate. 124. Oh, the guy at 120, yeah, 123 right there. Oh, Angus, you're so close. Back to the tap. What did it say? 124? 123 was awfully close. Maybe I shouldn't have picked so many numbers. That was stupid. You criticized me, rightfully so. Mm. Oh, 134. So close. 123. Oh, wow. Two people picked 123. Two people were still wrong. We can break it and give you... <laughs> You get a half, and you get a half. You get a run. You get a run. Oh my God! All right, pick one I'm hitting generate again. One eighty. I'm gonna one eighty nine. I'll, I'll just some people's know I'm not. What, dude? Random number generator sucks. That's three really high numbers. Wasn't there a one eighty nine? I think sure there may was. have actually been. There may have been. I think there was. One sixty nine, one fifty nine, and eighty nine. Oh, maybe that's what it was. This is tough. 185, 199, 198, 189, come on. 182. You 189 right there. Trent. Trent! Yeah, there it is. Trent got it. <laughs> Alright, Trent, hang on. I'm gonna get let me um write it down on something. What number through what? Alright, I'm gonna go much lower numbers next time. Hang on. <laughs> Trent, I don't care what it is you hit me up on. Hit me up on anything. Facebook, Twitter, I don't care. Just Hit me up, let me know that you won the Abu Garcia rod. We're getting a fast paper right now. We, we, we all suck at picking numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we suck again. <laughs> we should do fast, like, one through 150 uh, or, like, yeah, 100. I'll, I'll pick 20 more. Well, no, I mean, if there's still 60-some-odd people, I'll do one through, like, Something. 120 or something like that. So it's a little bit closer, but then, you know, there's still a good chance that there's no, like, overlap. Allow me to write over the top of all my guide notes. Guide test notes I clearly didn't need for that test. <laughs> that was stupid. Trent. Abru Garcia Rod. It was, uh, what number was it? One? I don't it, know. <clears throat> one something. Hold on. 189. 189. Huzzah! Okay, there's that. Trent, I just got your message. Thank you, buddy. All right, only one number this I time. I'm not following you. Except I'm here to claim my rod bass man. <laughs> it has been claimed, and you've been followed. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'll pitch in for a bingo bomb machine. <laughs> That'd actually be sick. A oh, <sighs> bingo yeah. bomb machine. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'd be all about it. Um, Yeah, we can do the mojo next, Brendan. Can we? Can we? Yeah, because the other ones are pretty nice too. Yeah. Um. All right. Questions now. Yeah, I'm going back. We're going back to questions. Huh. Okay. Yes. Correct, Gene. Only pick one number next time. Um. Wait. What kind of ice cream are you eating? Andrew, what was it? I was getting ice cream. What? The rod or the number? It's 189. You missed. Pick a shame. It's okay. You got three more rods. Trent. <laughs> <laughs> <I saw that. laughs> all right, one sticker. Let's do a sticker again, really quick. There's set. Oh, Jesus Christ! Seventy-two people here. I was expecting that. Thank you guys. Greatly appreciate everybody tuning in. Let's do a decal. I'll I'll even give you a pick. Um, Thoughts? random number one through one hundred. It's eight thirty-seven. I'll give you to eight thirty-nine. We'll get this one a little quicker. Trent didn't do one number. We got Trent's first number. Wait, did we screw that up? I don't know. Well, we got the cheapest run, so. Trent, if you cheated, <laughs> I'm taking this rod back. I'm going back. I'm double checking. Oh, Trent did pick multiple times. Trent. 
track. Man, can't do that. Uh, buddy, we gotta we gotta do it again. I'm so sorry. We'll give away the sticker, and then we'll do the rod. Sorry, Trent. I gotta take the rod away. I didn't realize you picked multiple times. No bueno. Uh, Devin, no, I have. Oh, thank you, Jackson. I do love my 603 bass sweatshirt. So, so. Uh -huh. yeah, this <laughs> Are you getting it filthy? <laughs> hey, I spent a few days at the skate park, and then that's all it takes. That's all it is. Um, and this happens. Devin, no, I haven't thrown the jackhammer stealth blade yet. Um, I heard it's good. Sorry, Trey. I, I I should have specified at the beginning, but it's always been that way. We done giveaways. No, no, no multiple picks. That's all right. We'll uh. We'll get it sorted. So I have... Well, you get five more, four more chances. Trent, I'll, still, I'll throw you decal anyway, because I kind of feel bad. I should have been a little more clear, but... Um, new logo, OG logo. The OG logo I only have in red right now. I'm waiting on more decals to come in. Give Devin a um, logo. Huh? Give Devin a logo. Yeah. I like his number. <laughs> uh, oh, that's it. Close. The last one, Devin. <laughs> God damn it, Devin. What did I say? Was this one through 150? Is that what I said? And 420. And 420. <laughs> uh, Jasper, hold that thought. Mandos was at 25. Devin was at 420. Those are the last two guesses. But I'm pretty sure I said 1 through 150. Do, 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 for a decal. Or did I say 1 through 100? Justin! All right, fine. Justin, you got the last one. Jo Justin, I swear to God, if you pick multiple times, don't mess up my head. Random number generator. Search. I'm going to say the random, say the same number again, I swear. All right, one through 150. Is that what I said? Oh, I did say 100. Thank you. Okay, here we go. One through 100. Thank you for clarifying. I'm retarded. Why does it keep doing that? Jesus. It picked up wicked high number again. 98. 98. All right. Who picked 98? Back it up. Just say me and I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody picks, everybody picks 69. <laughs> Not everybody can do 69. Well, we got skill. Yeah, that's kind of hard, though. It's tiresome. It's like a lot of work. Nobody picked 98. All right, regenerate. One click. 41. 41. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, I think I just saw it, but I'm going to go all the way to the top. Just be on the safe side. If multiple people pick the last 42. It's a 44. 14. 14 47. No 41. Okay, regenerate again. 80. Jesus Christ, should have picked less numbers again. 80. I think I saw 80, actually. Come on. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. <laughs> Daddy needs new Cadillac. <laughs> I, I have the number of freaking numbers. <laughs> this is still hard. Y'all picked too many. Of the same number. Oh, Jesus Christ, still not a winner. All right, 67. I really hope this is it, man. Yep, right there. Kristen. What? Kristen. <laughs> ah, Kristen! Kristen, you get a decal. Take a pick. Let me know. Text me. All right, that was hard. <laughs> That's like where you're 69, Andrew. Anyway, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to do it every way. <laughs> Gene, I owe you one. Oh, I still owe you a uh, pink decal, don't I? The, uh, yeah. We still suck. <laughs> All right, let's give this rod away. You're going to message me, please, and I'll send you one. I, I have a few little pink ones left. Let's give this rod away. All right, the Ubu Garcia. Let me be clear again. No picking multiple numbers. <laughs> There's one number. Jesus Christ, 79 people here now. One. I'm still going to do... All right, give it one second. Yes, Gene, message me, please. Promise. I will get it out in the mail um, probably Monday. I'll do it. Everybody's. I'll just get it all in the mail on the same day on Monday. It's 8:42 and change, so we'll say 8:45. It's done. Start picking now. There's 78 people, one through 100 again, and if you did, just hopefully nobody picks multiples. Keep going back through the chat. If you see you already picked the number that somebody else did, quickly throw another number down, and then hopefully this time we'll get a hit on one of the first tries. So you got a little over two minutes to pick. Meantime, I did say 1 through 150, so I'm going to be smart, and I'm actually going to put it in here this time. It's still, all right, so it's it's still on 67 was the last number that was generated, but I changed it to 1 to 150, so when I hit generate again, it will pick a new number. Um, let's back it up. There was a question there. Jasper, what rod and reel do you use for striped bass in terms of length, power, reel spool capacity? So That's all him. I want a 9-foot, um, like... 
I don't know. I want a nine foot something. I know uh, St. Croix makes a nice, I think it's a nine, nine or nine and a half foot something or another. <laughs> I forget the name of it. I, I was just looking it up last night. <laughs> Look at the hammer time out. <laughs> the very yeah. top. <laughs> Would you like to smell my tackle box? <laughs> you like to smell <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Sorry. So St. Croix, nine and a half. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. I don't know anymore. I, that that kind of threw me off. Mom, I, she picked 33. Did anybody mom, already pick 33? I saw it. My mom picked 33. Mom, I'll just give you the round. Jesus. <laughs> 33. Nobody else picked it. 33 is hers. 33 goes to... Oh, tight. Nope. Ben already got 33. Missed out. Snoozy lose. What we got here? We got less than a minute. I'm gonna close it. Hopefully, it's 69, 20. <laughs> 69, 420. The decimal. Dude, let's just. I don't know. We're going fishing together, me and you. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be best friends. <laughs> um. Yeah, a little less than a minute. Devin. Wins. Devin wins. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> there we, oh, Jesus Christ! That's a spider. I'm sorry. Yeesh. I had an Italian sandwich for dinner and it was delicious. I had nothing. You had snacks. You had an oatmeal cream pie. I had two of them. And they're, those things are awesome. That's, like, those and the cosmic brownies are my guilty pleasures. You got it? What do you got now? Oh, peanut butter crackers. Toasted. If Dubbin somehow wins, I'm going to shit break. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, did everybody get their picks in? We're up to 75 viewers. Damn. We're, like, kicking way more butt than usual. Oh, there it is, 8.45. It's closed. Last pick was Devin at 69,420. <laughs> 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 All right. So, people see, it's still at 67, last pick. And generate. 124. Oh. Back it up. <laughs> All the way back to the top. One this is for the rod? This is for the rod. This is for the Abu Garcia. Tell me somebody picked 124. Oh, Nope. Oh, come on. Did I say 100? No, I said 150. Fucking Christ. I said 150. I even I even put it in. I said that. I said, I'm going to do 1 through 150, and look, and I even showed you guys at the beginning of it. All right, we're doing 1 through 100 or everything. Oh, Jesus We're Christ. not doing one, 150. 36. 1 through 100. <laughs> you guys are keeping me honest. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. 36. <laughs> it's been a very long day. He's building motorcycles one-handed. You guys don't buy them. <laughs> 36, 36. Someone show me. Oh, there's a 34. That was close. Making an absolute cluster. That nobody got 36. Ah! Do it again. Generate. 66. I'm pretty sure I'm still right up there. I hope so. We may just have to roll into another giveaway because <laughs> it's already been 20 minutes since we started all this. I know. We Ooh. can do that. We can just keep it going. I don't care. We just do giveaways the whole night. 66. <laughs> Who had 66? 56. Damn. I think I saw a 76, too. Oh, God. Christopher had 65. No 66. Are you kidding me? Who wouldn't pick 66? All right. Regenerate again. 26. Okay. That I'm pretty sure I saw. Back to the top. Oh, God, it's 24. Yeah. So close, Kotu. And yet, so far. Oh, God, Mando had 25. We need 26. Right Lisa! There. Lisa got it. Lisa wins. Number 26. Good job. All right, so you get the Abu. Look, at you guys are even faster than this than I was. Abu, yeah, you get the 6'6", six six, Abu, medium. Lisa, message me, please. All right, I'm just going to do 1 through 100. We'll just, like Andrew said, we'll keep it simple. Sorry about that. I was pretty sure I said 150. I wrote it on my phone. We're talking about it. My brain must have thought 150. My mouth was like, nah, I'm dumb. Let's let's say a different one. All right. Um, let's give away a t-shirt. It's like, it's already getting kind of, I mean, late-ish. It's already 847. All right. Oh, who wants a t-shirt? Um, <laughs> Go for five. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pick a number yet. <laughs> Hold on. It's still going to be one through 100. I said it. One through 100. My phone says one through 100. It still says 26. One through 100, mm -hmm. one through 100, one through 100. Mm -hmm. We're going to do, let's do the purple one. I actually, 
I Every, love that shirt. Tons of people have this shirt, and it fits wicked nice. So, starting now, right now, David Richardson. All right, you can, um, Jesus Christ. Okay, never mind. I guess we're already picking. Uh, starting with Jeff Wagner at 78. One through 100. Go. You have until 850. You got two more minutes to get your guesses in. And uh, so it's, it's a size large. It's, I think it's technically a men's, but it's more like a unisex. I think that's what they were all picked at. They fit nice. It's, I would say it's an accurate large. I don't think it's like a tight fit by any means. No. Like it's, and it's kind of long. Like that's the thing I have problems with, with most of my shirts. Like I love the Beast Coast shirts and they fit right as far as like, you know, around my, my dad bod, but they're a little short for my larger than average height. So I always feel like my dad gut is hanging out of my shirt when I'm wearing that. <laughs> can you take it up here? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> <It> just, <laughs> it's out. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was probably wicked loud. <laughs> Less than one minute. Anyway, so like, it's a nice fit, even for taller people, like, it, it comes down pretty far. Um, I love it. I have two of them now. I've got the purple for the old logo, and then I've got like that. <laughs> that gives me. <laughs> Tim, you need to come fishing with us, please. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I should just set an alarm on my phone so I don't have to look at it. And then everybody can hear it go beep, 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 and you know that it's closed. <clears throat> uh, did I mention already that we're still trying to buy a new digital camera for the stream? And your donations are greatly appreciated. Ah, it's closed. Uh, it ends with <laughs> <That's closed. laughs> altitude handicap. Uh, <laughs> it was the last thing. All right. All right. It was still at 26, 100, 1 through 100. I know I said it a thousand times. Generate 90. Why does it keep going for the high numbers? I don't get it. Some people are going for higher numbers. No, what? Why is my random number generator do it? It's annoying. Yeah, hi. At least it was there. Okay, so. 94. I say 90 is what we're looking for. No. Oh. 3. I guarantee you someone's already going to have found it by the time I get down to the bottom of this. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm just going through all the comments. Nope, nobody picked it. All right, regenerate. 20. Same deal. There we go. By the time I get to the top and back down, someone's already going to find oh, it. Devin, you're 400 off. I should just wait and see if somebody else to do the work for me. No, I'm not going to do that for my own eyes. 20. There it is. Chris. Chris Peckham. Sir, you have won. Is he purple shirt? I need to write this down. Trent. Oh, wait. This was Lisa. It was Rod. Trent, I still said you get to get a decal for me, a, a good guy. <laughs> and then Chris. You just said the mojo for last. I wholeheartedly agree with that. That was the 603 purple shirt. Oh, and then Kristen had a decal too. Kristen, what decal did you want? Eh, whatever, you get your pick. I got plenty of extras. If I run out of them, you can have another one. All right. Damn, it was great. Look at that. See, everybody's there. Everybody's there. New champion. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> it's mine though. <laughs> you could have bought it. I Dude, you know how many people I had that messaged me after we closed the sale? Like three or four days after. Like, oh man, that sweatshirt looks great. I want to buy one. But, like, you had two weeks to buy it. I don't know what to tell you. I Like, I almost lost money on this because I almost didn't reach my minimums that I needed to. Uh, and thanks to a couple of really good friends and some family members, <clears throat> they pushed everything just over the minimum thresholds. I don't know. I don't. Maybe I wouldn't have lost money. Mint Prince is pretty good. That I think she would have helped me out. But like, I was sweating it literally until the last minute, and it closed. And she kept sending me emails like, "You're getting closer." So, opportunity was there. I could have made it any more plainer, clear. So, you snooze, you lose. Um. What do you give away next? You want to give away another round? I want to do one more giveaway thing before we let's do another decal, and then let's get back to questions. It's okay. it's only eight. 52. So it's actually still pretty early in the night. Um, another decal. 1 through 100. Go. It's 8.52. I'll give you till 8.54. This is a quick one. 1 through 100. 66 viewers. Oh, man. People dropping out. Now there's no more free stuff. I know, right? <laughs> Bob, see, Bob's smart. He's going for the high number now. He knows how number generators work. And it's, okay, so it's still at 20. It was the last one. It's still at 1 through 100. So, you know, I didn't mess with it. I said 8.40. All right, yeah, 854. Oh, Pendot. Oh, that's Josh. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, all right. I knew that. I was like, pen, pen, pen. Got your message, Chris. Thank you. I'll get that in the mail. I, I will aim for everything. Everything will be out early next week, ideally on Monday. Hopefully not later than that. Um, some things may lag till Tuesday because I'm just realizing now that my weekend is going to be very busy. And I have to go buy packaging for the shirts. But that's easy enough. I have packaging for everything else. Um, John, Blake, and Chris, and you both just picked the same number. Who picked first? John. John? Ah, oh, Kristen, pick a number. Quick, 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 quick. Wait, no, Kristen, you already won. You don't win. Sorry, that's another <laughs> thing. If you already won something, you're out. You don't get to win anymore. I want to make sure everybody gets a shot to win something. Um, so, yes, sorry. I should have been clear on that. Uh, we're going to 854. It's almost there. Almost. Dude, it's 37 degrees out right now. Yeah, good luck getting the skunk. <sighs> I don't have 854. Any it's closed. Chris Steele had the last comment at 56. His last number. All right. So it still says 20, 1 through 100. Generate 94. See, dude, what the hell? What? <laughs> <laughs> Could you pick something in the middle, Google? Jesus. 99. All right. Two, oh, there's 299s. I didn't even see that. My bad. You guys are friggin' right, rifling out comments so fast. I can't keep up. 93. Oh, Tom. Sucks to be you. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> by the way, I texted Tom. I was like, hey, I'm, by the way, I'm going to need another shirt. <laughs> oh, sh They had to cut it off at the hospital. Oh, you were wearing that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, dude. Ah, nobody picked 94. All right, generate 30. Dude, what, what, what's so hard about picking a middle of the pack number there, random number generator? Right you're there. High and you're I just saw it. No way. 30. Jackson Kinney? Jackson Kinney. Was he the first one? I got to go to the top and make sure there's nobody else that's before him. Yep. Jackson, what would you like, sir? You want the new round logo or the OG die cut? Can't do it. In red. That's all I got for options right now. Let me know what you want, buddy. And congrats. Jackson. Where'd you go? Jackson. Jackson. Is he up? Hello? No, right there. Jackson. 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 Same deal. Hit me up. I don't care where you hit me up. Um, let me know your address, please, and I will get it out to you. That was Instagram. He messaged me at. See, I'm doing so much better about being organized here. I really did. I wish I could write. <laughs> That's right. I forgot you're lefty. <laughs> <laughs> Don <laughs> Oh, Thomas, send me your address. Jackson wants a new round one. Jackson, new round. Can do, buddy. All right, let's do some questions. Um, and then we'll we'll give away more decals. So this was accounted for, and these Will were do. accounted for. <clears throat> Lisa just got it. Um, Lisa, because you and I are relatively close, maybe we can meet up and I get you that rod, because otherwise it's going to cost me like 30 bucks to ship it. Um, and I'm even willing to drive pretty much like all the way up to you, because I know kind of roughly like the region you live in. So let's make that happen. If, if you're interested. If not, I'll just ship it to you. Whatever you're more comfortable with, I'm flexible. Um. All right, Trent. Have a good night, buddy. What are you eating for dinner? Uh, da, 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 da. yeah. Starving. Of course, you're fucking interested in food. <laughs> Starving. Uh, let's get back to some questions for a little bit. For well, for the next we'll do the next uh, giveaway in 20 minutes, so 9:15, and then we got three rods to give away. So we'll do those kind of. We'll do the two favorite rods, and then we'll uh, then we'll do a t the last T-shirt after that. Some more decals. I'll just throw the decals like once every five or ten minutes or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll give away the Mojo Bass rod last. What is the Mojo Bass model? It's a jig rod, I think. Just so people know what, what they're going to be holding out for. Seven foot, medium, medium heavy? heavy fast. Yeah, it's a jig rod. Seven foot, medium, heavy. Fast. Mojo Bass, St. Croix rod. Medium, heavy, fast. Was it rated? Um, Three eighths to one ounce. Yep. That's a good rod. That's actually a really good rod. That's a really good rod. So that's going to be the last one we're going to do. That thing's light, though. For, um, for motor, that thing's they, I think light. they changed the blanks because I remember the ones that I had all those years ago were friggin' tanks. Paul, worst fisher... Fa oh, wait. Hang on. I'll get back it up. Uh, Mando, favorite rod blank company? North Fork Composite so far. But I, I will have four of their X-Ray blanks. One was built by Dragon Custom Tackle. We tried getting into the custom rod business. The experience was terrible. <clears throat> he only tried it with the team. It didn't go well, so he decided not to. But uh, Wicked Custom Rods is now going to be building the three North Fork Brink Composite X-Ray Rods. I'm they are for my so one. <laughs> ridiculously light and sensitive. It's insane. Um, my jig rod's a 7.2 medium heavy fast. My swim bait rod's going to be an 8-foot 
heavy extra fast i think rated one to six ounces <clears throat> i'm having a seven foot two medium light that i'm having um built for my drop shot rod and then a seven six medium light for like my ultra finesse stuff so i can bomb like <clears throat> sorry um like one sixteenth ounce head stuff like really real far and i gotta i actually all my loose stuff comes tomorrow finally got my loose order for this year and i have another four thousand series custom pro speeds um yeah team loose custom pro speed spin coming in for that so i'm gonna be able to bomb things paul worst fishery in new hampshire wind yeah it's really not but i gotta hate the boat traffic there if you can fish on any day other sunday it's great if you gotta go there on sunday i would literally want to fish anywhere else in the state mm -hmm. i cannot stand it um i'd rather fish a hampton beach <laughs> what what would be like a legitimate answer though out of the places we've been to that was just like this sucks it's always dog shit I can't think of anything. It's kind of hard to find a really bad fishery in New Hampshire. They usually, every pond is usually pretty good at least. At some point. At some, yeah. And for like a good stretch of the year too. It's not like it's a one week window. No. Um, I mean, we've gone places, gone skunked. And we've also gone back and caught fives. And also had days where we catch like 20, 30 fish. I, I can think of a spot. I'm not going to say it. Kyle, if you're still here, it's the place that... Um, the launch is really suspect, and you were surprised I put my skeeter in there. <laughs> um, I don't. I'm not even gonna say more than that. But the day, the place I caught those two threes, right after I got my wisdom teeth out. I think so. Giant bowl. It's, it's not a giant bowl. It's small, but it's like a. It's just a bowl. There's a dam. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. right at the. Yeah. 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 Um, I've been five times. I've caught one good fish. Close second would be another uh, lake trout lake, kind of smaller, over in southwestern New Hampshire. Been five times, caught one good smallmouth. Literally every fish we've caught there has been like paper thin. I don't get it. Like there's like no forage in there. I don't know if they're just not enough smelt, enough perch, or what. Um, where you just were fishing for trout through the ice. Mm. Something about that place. Holy crap! All right, slow down the questions for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna get caught up. Um, vertical jigging offshore. I, I don't really ever do any vertical jigging. Fishing after work, are you hitting sunny side or dark side first? Both. Yeah, I I go, <laughs> man, it depends on time of the year. Yeah, it depends on where the wind's going. That's the bigger thing. Like right now, I'm chasing the wind. I don't care what anything else I've been doing. So I'll, I'll go to the wind blowing side first. Um. Mando answered your question. Look at any new reel. Um, well, we just got a bunch of stuff. What did I get? I got the two loose custom pro speed spins. Mm -hmm. I got the Super Duty something series. It's got the flipping switch on it. Oh, the G. Yeah, Super Duty G. G I think is what it is. G something. Yeah, and that looks pretty sweet. Um, that's gonna replace one of my old Daiwas. And I got another Super Duty 300 wide for my other swim bait rod. Did I get the wide or did I get the regular? You got the, the Super Duty 300 wide. Or whatever it is. Yeah, whatever um, it's not the wide. It's just Super Duty 300. Yeah. That's what we got. And then... What else did I get? Oh, you got that remember. new one. The SLP or something like that. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm excited was, for that. Yeah, that was a nice reel. And then you got a couple rods, too. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Richard, worst fisheries, whichever one I happen to be at. <laughs> That's how I felt a lot this season. I can tell you that. Brendan, Hustler Trailers. All you, buddy. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Bob, I'm a little hustler this year. I'm going to be rocking trailers on. That's what I use. <laughs> hey, there's your answer. Swim bait trailers. I use swim bait trailers on. Little, like, three and a half inch swim bait trailers. They've been working good. Mm -hmm. I haven't had any luck using a crawl trailer yet, which is kind of surprising. But the swim bait trailer has been... Oh, no, there was one. The one, the five pounder I caught down in Mass, our second trip out. It was in the quarter ounce. But it had a uh, crawl trailer, crawl trailer on. Trailer. I think it was the first one I caught with the crawl trailer, oddly enough. <clears throat> um, Danny, what type of line do you use in a jig rod? Jordan, spot on. Yep. Yep. 15 pound. Yeah. What do you use for um, brand and model? Seaguar, right? Red Label. Red Label, right. And then I use Seaguar Brazics. Mm hmm. Uh, no fish newbie. <laughs> yeah, the never been. The red label is just a little cheaper, but it's it's great. And stuff's awesome. Stuff is stout. Um, <clears throat> braid the floral leader I, on every spinning rod, and actually some of my casting rods now. And I use a blood knot to tie everything. 
it varies. All my spinning stuff is 10 pound braid to, it's gonna sound silly. Um, if I'm fishing around a lot of rocks, I'll tie on 12 pound just cause I want a little bit more insurance against all those rocks. But everything else is either 10 or eight pound for straight fluoro. And I use either Cigar Abrasics or, that was the other one, uh, Tatsu. For my eight pound, I use Tatsu. Uh, Tatsu just looks cool. It's so good. Franklin Pierce, Jasper. Franklin Pierce is, uh, we've actually gotten our teeth kicked in there a few times. We fished it in like August. Yeah, because of piker eating everything. Yep. <laughs> Fun fact, first pike I ever caught was there during a tournament six years ago, I think. And it was on my drop shot rod with an eight pound leader. It came, I was working off an old stone wall and I was burning the back and the thing just came up and like put the brakes on right behind my bait and just mouthed it. And I landed it. Oh, isn't it like 36 inches? 30 it's 32 and a half inches. I somehow landed this thing on eight pound fluoro on my drop shot rod, <laughs> a 32 and a half inch pike. You probably got him in between teeth. <laughs> I, I must have like, but then like, I didn't even have him hooked. Like he just mouthed it and he wouldn't let go. And I just like, I backed my drag way off. He did a couple of crazy runs and then I got him like he folded in half over my tiny net and I got him in the boat. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Um, Jamie, you're going to fish the full moon this week? Yeah, well, now that I'm in this online tournament that starts tomorrow, I'm fishing all weekend. I'm, after this, I'm going to go out and hook up my boat and probably stay up way too late retie my rods. I'm going to go out tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to go out Saturday afternoon. I'm going to go out somewhere on Sunday. <sighs> Tips for dialing in a reel for punching and flipping. Dialing in a Heavy line. <laughs> Lock the drag. And run as much weight as you possibly can yeah <laughs> and just keep backing up a little bit um yeah. start heavy and slowly back up to get more and more comfortable yeah. it's just it's practice town and country landscaping hey buddy yellow perch and alewife white for both available as forage what do you think the bass prefer sorry you just read it but i wasn't listening that's all right i uh i can't answer that because we've never fished anywhere with alewife. as forage what do you think would probably one that's just more readily available. If there's more alewife, they're probably going to be eating more alewife, and if there's more perch, they're probably going to be eating more perch. Or they're just going to be eating a lot of every, all of it. Well, from the limited experience I have on Candlewood, it's largely been dependent upon time of the year and time of the day. Mm. Um, and a lot of that, from what I'm saying, is based off of what I was told by the guys I fished with down there. And I guess crappie kind of have like times of the day where they're more active and they're kind of like in the areas that the fish really want to be in to feast. So for the most part, I think chasing yellow perch eaters would be better for you. Um, but if they're on the alewife and you get on that, then it's good. Like I know Champlain has a ton of alewife and if you're fishing around the currents um, and it's the right time of the year and everything's kind of like, it, 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 I, I feel like it there needs to be a little bit more set up for alewife. But again, I have very limited knowledge on this. Almost all of this is coming secondhand. Um, it's the same thing as like perch and um, smelt and smelt. Yeah, most likely they're going to be eating a lot of smelt because they school up like crazy. Yeah, that's true. And so do alewife. Oh, Brett Wickwaz, my my dad had a friend that owns a house on it. Still does. We used to go there all the time when I was a kid, and it was great. Like 20, 25 years ago, and then it just went downhill real bad. And like every year we went back and it just got worse and worse and worse over like a five or six year stretch. And then it just, it got bad. And I, I haven't really been back since. Um, Christopher, Russell Pond, there's no bait in the lake. They only eat bass colored baits. The fish are so skinny too. That sucks. <clears throat> John, windblown banks have been, uh, where'd that go? Where'd that go? <laughs> Right there. Oh yeah, 22 20. pound bag, 100 out of here. Dude, when, when they're stacked like that, like this time of the year, you get into one big one, there's usually a couple hanging with them. Mm -hmm. They want to be in that area. Oh, no kidding, Jasper, that's too funny. You found that video, that's how you found me. <laughs> oh shit. Mandos, I'm trying to fish my local pond at night. Any tips for night fishing from a yak? That's absolutely you. Me? Yep, you're, you're a little boat dude. A little boat. Well, you were. <laughs> I'm trying to fish my local pond at night. Any tips for fishing from a kayak i don't have a kayak and i never have had you a had kayak. a john boat same had difference john in the end. Boat. yeah i you're guess airs. you're literally doing the same thing as what you would do with a big boat you're literally going unless you can fit into like some really tiny stuff get up into up into like like those channel like canals and stuff 
that you can get into. Just go all the way up as far as you can. They'll be up in there. Yeah, especially when the water's really warm. Yeah. If you know where the bait are, your bait is, like, man, I, I usually do well, like, rocks, hard packed bottom, like sandy stretches. Those are usually really good. Transition areas, like, weed, the edge of weed lines, like, it's not too much different after night. Right. But you can get away with, like, bigger, noisier things. Um, oh, no. <laughs> That's funny, Chris. Cut a pike the same length from Connecticut. Jesus. Favorite rod and reel for cranks? Really generic, six three to one ratio of reel, seven foot medium rod. That's it. I don't really do that much cranking, so I just kind of throw everything on that. Like that's my jack of all trades, do all rod, and yeah. it works great. A little difficult for throwing really kind of smaller crankbaits, but otherwise not bad. Um, Brian, what's up, guys? Do you like mud or fast action yeah, chatter? Punch him with a weed whack. <laughs> I fucking love this. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, I'm just gonna give you something. <laughs> so, <laughs> the first time I like legitimately went punching grass mats was with uh, my buddy DJ. He's 3D underscore fishing on Instagram. And we went up to Champlain and we did it last year. First time I've ever been on Champlain. We went looking for smallmouth first. That area was a bust. Talked to other people that are really good up there. They they also struggled like hell that day for smallmouth. And we ended the last few hours punching mats. DJ gave me one and a half ounce and or two ounce toxic weights and it was the most fun thing I'd ever done. But I didn't have my rods quite set up right. Um, and my frog rod is kind of like dual purpose, frog slash punching. So I was like, I'll throw it on my 20 pound fluoro. That was dumb. <laughs> Even with a heavy, a 7.2 heavy rod and 20 pound fluoro, it, it just, it, it wasn't right. So I cut my frog off and went back to my 7.6 heavy fast rod with 65 pound brain. Big difference. Big, big difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy crap, a huge difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right, a couple more questions. Let's, uh, let me do a decal really quick. It's 9.10. Let's see. God damn it. I knew somebody was going to say that about the weights. Dude, I felt like such a schmuck when I dropped those weights. <laughs> oh, dude, that was... <laughs> I watched a video. I'm pretty sure I texted you a picture of you dropping did. the weight. Yeah. <laughs> I was like... $10, I like, I do, I, I have good hands. I'm really good at, like, at catching, right? And like, I yeah, was like, I com all confidence in the world. <laughs> was that a joke? It was. <laughs> <laughs> it went right through my hands, bounced off my knee in the lake. I was, that was embarrassing. Anyway, let's do a decal. Uh, I got 910. We'll go to 912. So a little less than two minutes. Start picking now. One through 100 again. We got the random number generator. Do, 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 do. All right, still on 30 from the last winner. It still says one through 100. So, uh, I'll keep answering questions in the meantime. It's already 9-11. You got... <laughs> I, um, I didn't actually mean to laugh. What's why? Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's, not, it's not funny. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> I came up really bad. It's 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's one of those, like, yeah, we see, know. like, 11-11 or 1 or 12-34. I don't know. Anyway. I hate 12-34. No, you're supposed to make a wish. Well, now every time I see my phone, I see 9-11. It's like one of those numbers. <sighs> um, yeah, I, I did drop a lot of weights. Admit the banjo minnow is the greatest bait of all time. No, Snatchy Panda, I will not. <laughs> Brian, coming up third week of May, what stage of spawn will fish? Oh, uh, whereabouts? No. Yeah, dude, it depends on what the weather's doing. Where, where are you coming up? Third week of May, we'll be gone. I'll be gone. Sorry. Mm. I'll be at Champlain. Mm -hmm. uh, Kristen, if you're still here, answer my damn message on Messenger. <laughs> I hit you up earlier in the day. Oh, it's 9-12. It's closed. Da, 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 da. Who was the last one? 420. Darlene. Close enough. All right. Darlene Kohansky at 45 is the last one. Um, Dusty. I'm going to get to your question next. All right. So we're still at 30. Generate. 63. Back it up. Oh, Sam Potter. Nobody else picked before that. Sam. Mm -hmm. Sam, you want a decal? You want OG red or a new circle? Take your pick, sir. And congrats. Can we do a rod now? We can do it. Do you want it? Yeah, let's do one of those favorite rods. Sam. What is it? Sam Potter? Sam's got to be up to go to work. You are a wizard, Harry Potter. Sorry, Sam Potter. You are a wizard. Mr. Potter. One of my favorite memes is... Potter. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hagrid's saying, you're a wizard, Harry. And then Harry's going, you're a hairy wizard. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, nah, it's all right, G. We got plenty more. Don't worry. Weird. Oh, okay. Well, keep in touch, man. Um, we'll, we'll let you know where it's at. I actually have a way of knowing Water Temple without going up there. I'll you keep you posted. Autograph t-shirt. Bass and Panda, you get nothing and you I'm like sorry, it. sorry, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll rub it in my stink. Sam, did you say what you wanted? I just saw you say, let's go. You forgot the hashtag. TV, you're way too late. I'm picking that number. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I will. I got your message. Thank you, G. I'll get to it after. Um, yeah, Sam, tell me what you want. Message me. I don't care. Or you can tell me in here. But you still get a circle one. Okay, circle one it is. Message me, though. Why did I just... The, the circle one. Okay. Oh, that was your can. I was like, it sounded like something disconnected from my computer. It made that same noise. I'm like, what was that? Hmm? Weird. Uh, let's do a rod. Who's ready for a rod? We're going to do a favorite rod. Uh, want to do the big boy, the swim bait rod? This one? Yep. This is a swim bait one? I would think so. It's rated pretty heavy. You can put the swim bait on. Easy. All right, rod time. Everybody that wasn't here is going to miss out. What is this? All right, so it's a favorite. This is all upside down. AP Bassin. So it's an Alec, Absolute. Alec Parrot. Would you, would you call it a pro model? <laughs> no. No, you wouldn't. All right, so it's a 7.6. <laughs> what the hell is this? When are you guys getting an OnlyFans? 7.6, heavy, 3 8 to 1.5 ounce. So kind of like light duty swim bait stuff, like soft plastics, what I would do. Um, moderate fast? Devin DM me. What the hell is this? <laughs> a 7.6 heavy, moderate fast. That doesn't make any sense, Alex. Idiot. Anyway, who wants this? <laughs> All right, so it's 9.15. It's a pretty stout run. Still one through 100. Go ahead, start picking. Um, I'll give it till 9.18. No, well, 917. 917, official. 917. 1 through 100. Pick your numbers. Only fan. <laughs> um, I'll probably Carolina rig. Right? Carolina rig. Honestly. Chatter baits, spinner baits, like swim jig to swim baits. You can still get away with like some soft body, like bigger swim baits, like the Beast Coast Creep, mm -hmm. six and a half inch. With a big old fluke. I wouldn't go like. That's actually probably too light. Really not Dude, that the action breaks on that so far from the tip. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. It's kind of nice. You can do giant crankbaits on this, um, but yeah, like for like a, an all around like traditional moving bait, that'd be fine. You could throw anything on that. Yep, square bills. Um, giant Texas rigs. You could throw jigs on that. Be a little weird, I think. Kind of a big rod for that. But what did I say? Nine eighteen, nine sixteen. Numbers in one through one hundred. Someone's gonna get a favorite rod. So the condition on this is actually still pretty good too. There's like no minimal hook rash around the hook keeper. The cork's still pretty clean. The grips are clean. Real seat's a little dirty, right where the rod goes in. That's more than that. Yeah, but like otherwise, this thing's still in really good <laughs> shape too. This is another one's in really good shape. There's another one that's like good It's red and black if you guys can't see it. Sorry, this is kind of hard to do. It's very little room in here. And it's a 7.6 rod. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that? So, I don't know. Not bad. Not a bad rod at all. Wow, I thought we would be past at least another minute. Right, here you go. Put that one over there. Let's see who's going to be the winner on this one. We got 918. Um, there was a question I'm going to answer. And keep an eye on the time. 918. Oh, one minute. I'll answer a question in the meantime. Joe, <laughs> this rod seems gross, but hey. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> he said, this rod seems gross, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> Did you answer when we're getting the OnlyFans? It's next week, right? Website goes live? I just told him to DM me. Uh, oh. Snatchy. I don't know when we're going to hit that. Soon. Soonish. We'll see. I'm kind of having like salty feelings about New Hampshire in general, but especially the New Hampshire's Lakes region. Let me put it this way. Vermont has ruined me and my expectations. Yeah, pretty much. Vermont really is better than New Hampshire. Yeah, it is. I said it. I've been saying that for a long, 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 long time. DJ has been telling me that since I first met him. He's like, I don't even fish in New Hampshire anymore, man. I'm like, what? Why? It's so good. And then he was like, come to, to Vermont. And I go to Vermont. I'm like, ah. <laughs> like, I literally, like, my bad day there would be still a really good day here in New Hampshire. It's it's unreal. Absolutely unreal. I can't, I don't, I, 
Time's up. Oh, there it is. All right. Isn't the Kevin? Isn't the last parent guy a Guggen? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. All right. So it still was that sixty-three for the last winner, one through one hundred. <clears throat> Generate forty-eight. I, I'm oh god, fishing mode is forty-seven only at the bottom. Damn. Oh, there was two forty-sevens. Getting there, getting there. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I did not see a forty-eight. I Kill me, Smalls. I didn't either. Two forty sevens, but no, no forty eight. Eight oh two. There he is, an eight oh two. All right, generate again. Forty two. I meant forty eight. <laughs> oh, John had forty two. Hang on, John. I make sure there's nobody above you, but I think John P had the winner. That was a thirty two. 52, 52, there's two 52s. Guys, you gotta double check the comments before you write your comments. Some of these are really far apart. But at the same time, not that far apart. John, you're the winner. John gets the rod. <laughs> Make sure to write your name down. John, hit me up on anywhere. Again, you know, whatever is easier for you, man. And I know you're relatively local, so we can meet up. If you're interested, we'll, uh, we'll square this up. Get you your rod. Um... I work close to Concord. And I'll be up that way tomorrow. Just food for thought. I don't know where you're at. I don't remember exactly where, but food for thought. Might be able to make something work out if you want to get it before the weekend. Same goes for you, Lisa, if you're around. Um, you had the favorite. The AP rod. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Want to do another decal? We just did a decal, didn't we? We can do another decal. Yeah. We got All right, I got 919. Go. 1 through 100. We'll give another decal. I've got... Actually, I think I got a couple more. Yeah, I got a couple more of these red OG logos and the new circle logo. 1 through 100. Give it till 921. Less than a minute. If there's multiples of the same number, I'm just give each kid one. This is true. <laughs> Everybody's going to write the same number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was going to be a winning number, though. <laughs> This is true. <laughs> 66, 66. Probably got like 30 seconds to get your numbers in, so I hope you guys are paying attention. 70 viewers. This has actually been great, so... Man, this has actually been going really well. I mean, that's kind of the idea, right? Like, you give away a bunch of stuff, and you hope more people tune in that otherwise wouldn't. Hopefully keep them engaged and keep them here interested. Oh, we've been spending the majority of our time giving away stuff. That we Tom, been talking about Tom set 100 for like the last, like... <laughs> it's going to pay off. I know, eventually. <laughs> Right, that's uh, it. Almost. It. No, not it's not 921 yet. Oh, 921. 921. Okay, keep going. Almost there. Did I? I did say 921, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, because there it is. 921. Ben had the last one. 13. All right, so still at 42. L 1 through 100. Generate. I don't even know. 22. What L X I X? Is. <laughs> what if, what if I if I was in Rome, that's, I would know. Is it 10? 10, 10, no, it's it's 69. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Who had 22? Someone's <laughs> going to catch it again before I even freaking get up there. That's funny. All the way to the top. Holy crap. Oh, wait. Shit. Where was... Did I already go by? Oh, wow. Yeah, I went way by. <clears throat> I said 22, right? Is it the number? 22. Yeah. I went way by. The top of all this. Nope. Generate again. Seven. Hey, there's a freaking single digit number finally. Make sure. Right oh, there. Dog Swampy with the first freaking guess. He hits it. <laughs> Wait, is that the first time you won something, Dog Swampy? I can't remember. I think, so. I think it is. Ah. What do you want, buddy? Pick a sticker. <laughs> Dog Swampy. Circle or non circle? Donk wins. The donk always wins. The donk. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll let you answer this first, Jasper. Who do you guys watch on YouTube for fishing? Who you guys I might watch? be surprised by what I say. Surprise you? All right, donkey. Jeremy, I'll surprise you. Jeremy Wade. <laughs> I'll surprise you. <laughs> yeah. Um. Honestly, I watch a lot of um. I watch a lot of weird stuff on YouTube. Let me another drink. <laughs> you want another one? Uh, no, I'm all set. Okay. That. That For fishing on YouTube, Josh. Um, what the hell's his name? Um, 
Josh, 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 Josh. Pig Patrol. I watch him once in a while. Um, really? I don't... I watch a lot of ocean stuff. Like, down, like, Florida type stuff. Like, I watch, um, South Florida Fishing Channel. And the guy, Heiko. He's, he's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I don't really watch... I honestly don't really watch much fishing besides... Well, I mean, I do, but... I watch a lot of documentaries, like nature docu documentaries. That's like literally all I watch ever. And that's about it. Wildfly Productions. Wildfly Productions is great. I'll have to check them out. I don't like that though, actually. <laughs> G-Man, Bass U, Tactical Bass. I mean, yeah, obviously I watch Tactical Bass and Wired to Fish, but. I don't, it's not, I, my first thing isn't always just to go home and watch bass fishing. It's not. Mm. I want to check that wildfly collections out there. I do. Give me a second. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. <clears throat> Bass U. Oh, is that the um? Is that Ike? I think that's Ike, right? Pretty sure that's Ike. I have watched him a few times. Yeah. G-Man. You watch Wildfire Productions? Short Bud Diaries. My if you like Josh, you'll probably like Ty. I have watched Ty Pig Patrol, but I just yeah, I don't know. I can't get into him. He's not. I don't know. Um, do we miss? Okay, so I caught back up where we were. I'll answer my question. We'll do another giveaway. We're gonna give away the shirt, right? Are you okay? Yeah, it just. Well, stop it. Um, the only channel I watch, and I don't even watch every video because I don't have time, um, is Brandon Polnick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I watch him all the time, too. <laughs> the, actually, the only channel, for a while, the only channel I watched, and I never missed anything, was Wired to Fish. I, I say never missed anything. There'd be a couple of videos where I was like, that, I, there's nothing I can get from that. I, um, I literally know him all I've watched every single episode of DMP. <laughs> I've only got halfway through it. Dude, like, I... He's like my man crush of fishing. <laughs> Him and G-Man. Him and G-Man. Uh, but I, I don't even... Oh, I can't remember last... Zona is... Sorry, Zona's the only one uh, One I haven't missed a single show of his. I don't know why the hell I forgot about him. Um, I, he's I actually... literally just told him I don't watch that much fishing and I just keep naming off all the stuff I keep watching. <laughs> Zona's the only one I've literally never missed any video from. Um, he's the, the reason why I bought my outdoor TV for the year. So I can actually watch his shows in HD. Because on cable, I only get them in standard def and it, it looks super just like crap because of the way it comes through um zona is my favorite uh they like he is my hero i look up to him in so many different ways for so many reasons that took forever open but like it's really hard for me to explain how little time i have to just sit down like when i go upstairs and watch a movie with my wife it's it's kind of like a special thing because i'm like dude i'm either working or spending time with like kids and the family and like doing stuff around the house or i'm, I'm grinding at this like, mm -hmm. this is my passion, and I'm trying to make this a thing. I spend almost every single second of my spare time geared towards the channel. I'm either making videos or I'm doing behind-the-scenes work, trying to get things going. And it, it's it's a job. And to fishing. An and, and, and fishing. So it's like, I just don't have time to sit down and watch videos. The problem is, I could make time for it, but I feel guilty. Because there's still so much that I'm trying to accomplish with this that, like... I feel terrible. Like, if I have a half an hour to sit down, do you know how much shit I can get done for this thing in a half an hour? Like, that's a lot of time. That's where I'm at. Like, I'm... I'm. This is my passion. And this is where everything goes to. So, I just... I don't have that much time. But, Zona, I will always make time for. Mm -hmm. Polonic, I make... Try and fit it in. That usually takes me, like, three or four sessions to even watch one of his 20-minute videos. Wired to Fish, I used to watch religiously. Um, Tactical Bassin, I used to watch a lot, but I, I can't remember the last video I watched from them. I think it was a glide bait video. Anyway, those are mine. Um, Chris, what? You tag me. What? What? What do you want? <laughs> <clears throat> Indy, why? Oh, they watch us. I see. Oh, aha, I Thanks. get it. Hey, smart. Yeah, it took me a while. Incognito. G Man, yeah. Bass U. Bass University is good. I've, I've caught a few, and those are really good. That's um, Ike, isn't it? It's like everybody. It's tons of different people. I thought it was just everything. Um, he, Ike does a ton with it, oh. but there's a lot of guys. 
He also catches fish out of New York streets. Yeah. Um, and D Yak Angler is the Bob Ross of fishing. The short bus. <laughs> um, let's see. BMP is a beast. Very great channel. If you're a gearhead or learning fisherman, then Debo's fishing is your guy. What's the weirdest thing you've seen in a fish's mouth? Found sparrow legs sticking out of one pounder's throat. Um, oh, Jake, fish of the moment. I, I used to watch him a little bit, but I, just, I haven't watched him in a little Again, my time is limited. So, like, the only people... And I got nothing against any of these people. I just, like, I, I don't have the time to watch as much as I would like to. Um, usually, if I'm taking the time to watch something, I get it Zona or BMP because they're both really entertaining and they're extremely well spoken like you can learn a lot from those guys in yeah. a very short window otherwise i am searching for something extremely specific that i'm looking for and i will take that from any source and i'll go through like a couple before i find one that is well articulated to get that point across from whatever it is i'm trying to learn um the weirdest thing the weirdest thing you found just another fish i don't think i've ever actually caught I, i've seen some weird shit like I, I watched um, a bass try and eat a three foot snake one day. That was wild. I caught a bass with a snapping turtle in his down his throat. Wait, it wasn't like a little baby one. Yeah, it was only like that. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? And I squeezed it. I was like, Whoa. I'm like, oh, go back down. <laughs> I think the weirdest one was um, you were with me. I caught the one we were pausing that had like a fat catfish in his gut because we could see the the, the, the tail sticking. Oh uh, yeah, that was about the weirdest I could think of. I saw I saw I saw one eat a duck. That must have been amazing. Yeah, it was that night when all those ducks were. There was like a <laughs> there was like a freaking herd of ducks. <laughs> there was like a hundred of them. And then there was a he smaller was in herd. His boat. <laughs> oh, it was that night? Yeah, yeah, he was in his boat, and I was in my boat. And they he was in one corner of the lake, and I think did you have your kids with you? No, because it was dark at that point, and I could hear the ducks coming, and then all of a sudden. Like a hundred ducks go by and there's one left like, rah, 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 right next to this dock and then thunk, right under the big <laughs> duck, bolt. like a full size <laughs> duck under the water. It's like, holy shit, dude. <laughs> and then like three seconds later it comes up, rah, 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 like I'm freaking the fuck out. That was then, your fish you lost in the rat. <laughs> yeah, I think it was, dude. You need to throw a bigger rat. Oh my god, it was so funny. <laughs> you gotta throw a duck. <laughs> drag it by his neck. <laughs> duck, 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 swatch. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Uh, Jake, next Vermont brownie trip? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I was hoping to go this Sunday, but not with the pouring rain. I don't mind fishing in the rain. I don't like driving two and a half hours to fish in rain and be soaked for two and a half hours and ride home. That's too much. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, I've watched a few BLAT. Um, I've actually been watching more Scott Martin lately too. I've actually really liked what he's done with the video production li lately because I, I think he's got a new editor like a year ago. But I stopped watching him for a little bit and I started re watching him when the Elite started and like watching a lot of his, like, now well, I probably watched a third of his opens. Um, they're long videos, so it's hard to fit them in. BLAT, I've seen a few of those, I like they're good. Uh, any Milliken, uh, Milliken, yeah. Not really. I mean, he fishes with Josh. Paper trail. Does he? Yeah, once in a while. Interesting. Calls him dad. Ha, <laughs> no shit. Whoa, TV! Hey! Thanks, buddy! Thanks, TV. Damn! On our way to the camera. <laughs> right? We're getting there. Thank you, TV. Greatly appreciate it, buddy. Um, I missed one. Oh, Jamie, what water temps do you look for to start tossing top water? Oh, boy. Depends oh, on what temp? top water right now yeah oops sorry i punched the mic um like big top water right now mm -hmm. we learned that last year we learned a lot last year about throwing big top water mm -hmm. it was very eye-opening yeah it definitely was it's kind of hard to say that there's the too day cold. right it's weird now you should be throwing it now yeah you should be throwing <laughs> now just all day if you want um ftm oh yeah fish the moment was the only other stream i haven't caught one of his other streams I, or one of any one of his streams i'd like to Ooh. i've uh, Fish the Moments live streams. Uh, I've heard they're really good. Jake, five in a drive for you? You suck. Um, Intuitive Angler with Randy B. I've heard he's good. Brett. Oh. Intuitive Angler. Um, How did we meet? the other kid? The guy from freaking way up in the middle of Saskatchewan or wherever the hell it is. Way up in Montauk. I have no Montauk. idea. Montauk. Montauk. 
Uncut angling. <clears throat> God damn it, Snatchy Panda. We never start throwing the banjo minnow. <laughs> yeah, enough of that freaking thing. <laughs> Just continue it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well, how'd we meet? Skate park, right? Skate park. Yep. Yep. Because he's... Oh, you're 30, right? Yeah, almost. I'll be 31 on the first. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're right around the corner. I'm, I just turned 36 in January. But, like, there was probably, like, a 15-year age gap between everybody that used to go to the skate park mm. right here in town for a long time. And the skate park was, like, where it was at. Yep, because there was nothing else here. Really? <laughs> it was either there or the trails we built in the woods, and those never lasted long. No. So, yeah, we went through the skate park, and then, like, he fished. Like, he did different kinds of fishing, and then... Our mutual friend Josh, like him and I used to fish all the time, and then Andrew was like, oh, I'll come fishing too. And just all of a sudden, we're just like, we're fishing all the time. Jason, I'm not going to comment on that. Um, damn it. <laughs> Which one? About Milliken. I thought you met on Grinder. No, not Andrew. I met others on. No, just kidding. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Swipe right. <laughs> You'd be at Cobbets and Windham. I've actually heard good things about Cobbets. Cobbets is another one. Like, that that whole area of the state, I need to get out to at some point. I have I've heard good things. Yeah, I've heard good stuff about that place. What a question. Thoughts on Google Squad. What? I just thought. I'm not answering. Verizon Wireless. <laughs> Congrats. Your phone is now protected with call filter for free. Good. Uh, I, I, Google already gave me that Verizon. You're fucking, like, honestly, five years too late. I used Suck. to watch the Google Squad just because it was one of the fishing shows, and then I just stopped watching them because it was one of the fishing shows <laughs> i um that's all i'm gonna say about that <clears throat> I, I i watched john b a few times because i thought he was one of the best when it came to b-roll when wow. like that's what i wanted to do yeah never liked any of the others um i liked lake fork lake guy fork before definitely. he was a guga yeah and then he went and i i'm not it absolutely sounds like i'm criticizing the guy like i get it like youtube has be has became a career for him so he started doing things that I, I really don't like about YouTube, but dude, if you want to make money on YouTube, there's certain things you have to do. You have to get clickbaity with your videos. Like, there's a there's a really uh, the night fishing. No, snatchy. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, sorry. There's a a big tech channel on YouTube called Linus Tech Tips. Anybody that's into PC in any way, shape, or form must know of Linus. And he did a video on this like five or six years ago where people were like, he was just responding to questions. And some people were like criticizing him on like, why do you do clickbait video thumbnails and titles now? And he's like, because it, you literally have to. <clears throat> if you start uploading videos on YouTube, like they stress that when you go through all like the help stuff, like make sure your thumbnails are catchy, but not misleading. And like they tested it. Like Linus, you know, Linus, anybody that knows Linus, you know the depth that he d goes to to do all, like all these tests and stuff. And they tested it. And, like, dude, it, it literally makes a massive difference in how much traffic you get. And as much as everybody hates it, everybody is guilty of clicking on it. It sucks. But and, like that's the thing that kind of like I, I was like, nah, screw that. I can I can try and grow without doing that. You nope, you can't. And uh, that bothered me about like Fork Eye when he went from like, kind of like a normal dude to like super clickbait guy but I, I get it like he wanted to make a living out of it and you just gotta cross some lines in order to do that um but then he like he really changed when he went to Guggen squad um so I just kind of stopped watching no. um <clears throat> well first of all Guggen is a is a salt water yeah it's a negative term <laughs> oh, for salt water fishing yeah and they just turned it into fresh water fishing and so it's yeah Thoughts on night fishing? Love it. Do it. It's awesome. I started night fishing. Oh God. How long? It's 25 years ago. No, not that long ago. Um, 22, 20, 22 years ago. I can math. I'm 36. I'm not. I was 16 when I first started doing it. So 20 years ago, um, when I still had just a John boat. Uh, there's a couple of local ponds to me that were. They were, they were phenomenal for night fishing. And I hated going out and dealing with all the other, you know, boaters and kayakers and all this crap. And I hated, like, how freaking hot it was being in an aluminum boat. Like, it sucked. So, I was like, screw it. I'm going to go out at night. And I had a few spots where it's, like, all vegetation, but there's a couple of swim beaches. And it's all nice, like, hard packed clean sand. And I killed it. Every freaking night I went out there. Buzzbait, deep diving crankbait, driving into the shallow bottom. 
and dragging a jig. Literally just drag it, never pick it up off the bottom. And it was some of the most fun nights I've ever had. And it was great being out there alone on beautiful, nice nights, not sweating your ass off in the middle of the day. Like, I love night fishing. And I stopped doing it for a little bit because I was like, I'm going to be a tournament guy. I'm going to fish all the hardcore tournament hours. And I got burned out on that. I still like doing tournaments. It's fun once in a while. Yeah, but now I just kind of do whatever. I'm only guilty of clicking on any Riley Reed video. <laughs> Same. <laughs> That was borderline creepy. She's <laughs> <laughs> hot. What am going to do? Jasper, I like John B. and some of the people associated with Googans, like Weston Smith, Fisher with Becca, and Lawson Lindsay, but not the actual Googan Chagel. I, no comment. I've actually never seen anything with Weston. Um, uh, neither with Lawson Lindsay. I have seen some stuff from Becca. Um, people like fish. They attack clickbait. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Like face, like watch your dad's strip club. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fishing mode. Have a good night, buddy. I work here, dad. <laughs> Damn, buddy, you're a youngster. Who, me or him? Well, obviously him. He's younger. Um. All right. Last question from John. We gotta get. We got some more stuff to give away. We got two more rods. Um. Some more decals and a shirt. We'll do the shirt next. Well, let's do a rod and a shirt back to back. Um. John's got the last question. Then we're gonna start picking numbers. John, are you captaining high school this year? Yes. Um. As far as I know, I'm coming back. Oh. Um. Fish mode message. And? Oh yeah, yeah. I so fishing mode came through clutch, and he had a ton of tackle that he hooked me up with to get to the team that I still haven't friggin' organized. Dude, it is an insane amount of bait. He also gave me some rods. Oh my God, I forgot to message that guy back. There's, I just remembered, uh, this new job at work is fucking killing my time and my brain. Um, there's another guy, a subscriber that messaged me the other day and he's got a hand, like a bunch of rods that he's given, that's donating to the team. So like this year's gonna be great. Uh, last year we had all new anglers they had next to nothing for gear and this year like there's just so much stuff and actually there's enough stuff too that um i'll be able to reach out to <clears throat> one of the directors at the high school level and find out like hey are there any other teams that are really hurting for stuff because like i have other stuff so like we're gonna be able to help a lot of kids out this year and that makes me feel really good <laughs> banjo minnow signed by a bella danger if you got one i'll take one <laughs> if Jerry's signed by her i'll take one um, yeah, Kevin, I've heard Patakaway is still really low. Wait, Nashua doesn't have a team? Oh, Bishop Girton does. I know the guy that coaches Bishop Girton, but I'm surprised Nashua itself doesn't have a team. But you're right, they don't. That should be easy. There's so many guys I know that live in the Nashua area. Not to mention, like, there's tons of kids there that would fish. Huh. All right, what do we got? I got 941 on my phone. Jesus. Let's go to 943. Let's give away a rod. Start picking numbers for the other... Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Don't pick yet. Not, not, not yet. Let's cover the rod first, then we'll do the numbers. It's 941. I'll try and do this in a minute. What do you got? A uh, favorite... Oh, yeah, just like that. This is the... Right oh, it's backwards for me, but it's right way for them. All right. It's a favorite defender. This is the person's rod. I don't like him. <laughs> All right. 7'3", 3 8 to 1 ounce. I remember seeing this. This was... It's a 7.3 medium heavy, but I don't know if it's a uh, fast action. Again, 3 eighths to 1 ounce. It's a pretty nice rod, honestly. Yeah, that's actually, like, that would be good for, Jesus, just about everything. Heavy duty, like heavier jigs, spinner baits, swim baits, yeah. chatter baits, um, Texas rig stuff. Although, light Texas rig stuff, you might have problems with it. Like, if you're trying yeah. to sling, like, like, light slip weights, like 1 eighth ounce or something, it's going to be pretty stiff. You're, you're probably going to have a hard time. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's pretty good. All right, so we got 942. We're going to 945. I'll keep picking. Start picking numbers now. 1 through 100 for the favorite Defender Rod. It's the Lunkers TV rod model. 7.3, medium heavy, fast. 3 eighths to 1 ounce. It's actually in pretty good shape. Again, a little dirty. Just some, you know, schmegma around the real seat. What? <laughs> Uh, the grips are actually in pretty good shape. These, this one actually looks like the one he probably used the most, if I had to take a guess. He had that, and he had another one exactly the same. Okay. I think, I don't know if they were a little different, but... A little dirty. There's actually, there's no, like, rash around the, um... It's a brand new rod, pretty much. Yeah, the hook keeper. Like, everything looks good. 
about this like yeah i mean the outside just needs to be a little cleaned up i don't know if you can clean up those foam cork grips i say foam cork the foam grips what did i say 945 yeah we got two more minutes one through 100 um that's a, that's a good all-around rod for the the heavier end those medium heavies they don't like to play with anything less than three eighths ounce i can tell you that so, I, be... so i took that rod and i put my i had an abu something earlier old reel <laughs> And I put it on it. <laughs> yes, it did. Dude, it felt real good. Honestly, it felt really good. All right, it's still on seven and one through 100 from the last winter. So we got... Bro, I came from me. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> 9.45 p.m., okay. Alarm has been set so that way you can all hear when it's time to go. <laughs> Any bass addict, you're not allowed to say that because we, dude, have you seen his rod collection? Yeah. Like, her, dude, he has like nothing but JDM stuff, like all Daiwa, like high end, like like Honda Civics and stuff. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I went to his house because he hooked me up with a 110 plus one junior from uh, Mega Bass. It was a hard to get color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was showing me all his rods. Oh my god, dude, I would. They're all like, like that's if I had no sponsors and I was going out start from scratch and I had like a, a pretty good amount of money to play with like what he has is exactly what I want like everything's so clean and like um minimalistic style but it's all like that JDM's oh dude ridiculous he's got all the good stuff uh do we sniff the seed <laughs> sniff this what who's seed which one the one that we got from me and Kareem. <laughs> <laughs> Wildly inappropriate. <laughs> Musty. <laughs> Tom, I don't like him either. <laughs> who, who, Tom? Who are we talking about that we didn't like? <laughs> oh yeah. He's a prick. Sam. Dayton Candy Cox or whatever her name is. Oh, old crazy eyes. Yeah. <laughs> she Kane. smiles like a psycho, man. Like how? Oh, there it is. We're close. <laughs> Who's the last one? It's because I'm Asian. Asian. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Dude, I told him. <laughs> Hang on. Shut up. Oh, who was the last one? Jonathan's, Jonathan uh, S. Sartorelli. There we go. You had the last uh, guess. All right. Uh, I told him your joke you told me about, though, when your daughter was born, about wrapping up like a little baby burrito. Oh, my God, her. dude. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right, still on seven, one through 100. <laughs> 81. Let's see if we got that right on the first try this time. I really hope it's somebody local so I can just drive this rod to people. Two. It's on 84. 84. Nope, no 81. Seven. There's an 18. David, you had it backwards. It's like, oh, I'm just like, sorry. No, two 18s. Guys. Three, eight, four. four. Oh, Mike. That was Mike being cheeky. Oh, you're a dick. <laughs> I'm just saying. 86. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure I saw 85, but no 86. 82. 84. Oh, New Hampshire Fishing Gal. 86. Hell yeah. There was an 85. I was right. It was Bob. And he's Fishing Gal. Congrats. You won the favorite rod. NH fishing gale. That's the, uh, Luckers rod. Yep. I actually had two of those to give away, but I had already given one away. Hear that, people? My <sighs> bad. Nice. New Hampshire fishing gal, please message me. I don't care. Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, wherever. Uh, or you can email me, 603bass at gmail.com. Don't care. Just tell me. Whatever you are. <laughs> He's my new favorite friend. Yeah, too. I kind of like him. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Thank you. And congrats. Let's do a decal really quick. And then, what do we got? 947. 949. One through 100. Give another decal. At 10 o'clock, we'll, we'll give away the last one. And... We'll do decal. We'll do the shirt. We'll answer a few more questions. We'll give away the last rod. Yeah. All right, go. One through 100. You got till... 949. It's 947 right now. We'll give a decal. Dog Stomp, you already won. Yeah. Stop it. Gene's going to get it. 61. Thirty two black. <laughs> oh. John, if you're still here, I got your message. Thank you, buddy. I made Banjo Minnows that big. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh my god. What did I say we're going to do? 948? Or no, remember. I said 949. I think I said 949. I'm going to 949. <laughs> we got one more. Less than a minute. It just turned to 948. <clears throat> oh, okay. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm trying my my brain's trying to wrap around some something to combo up stepbrother and joke and banjo minnow. <laughs> oh, Canadian anglers, you can only choose one number. Oi! He came in after. That's alright. Sorry. Just specify every time we just do this. Just one, one number. Who who would any anyway, why would you even think you'd get away with picking multiple numbers? There's only one 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 through one hundred and sixty nine of you in here. Hey. Um Lisa, I just got it. I am probably working until four ish tomorrow, but I can come outside at any point. Like I, my window overlooks where I park. Um, I probably just messaged you, but we have, you get your phone. You have, you must have the exact same time. It's 949. Oh, that's it. Closed. <laughs> Sir Altitude 77 is the last one. Hang on. Let me, uh, Me, me. Do you have a zip tie? I do. Why? So I can scratch my arm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where though. Hang on. I'm gonna use somebody's Jason. rod. Her leg lick a moose knuckle. Yeah, you gotta fish it deep. <laughs> to the hilt. All right, still a 86 from the last one. Generate 19. Oh, hammer time. I see 19, but did someone get it before you? You were at the very bottom. Oh, come on. Mouse, work with me. I think Hammer Time had it. Dude, what is going on? Oh my God. I think he had it. I don't see anybody else. Yep. That's it. Hammer. What did you get? Message me on Instagram, buddy. He won a decal. What do you want? I don't even have one of those. Take one. <laughs> yes. Which one do you want, buddy? He guessed twice. Wait. Did you really? Oh, hammered you, son of a! Can't do that. You can't do it. That that that. All right. I can't do gotta, that. I gotta regenerate. Gotta regenerate. Killing me, Smalls. Forty nine. How dare? How dare you? Oh God, Taylor with forty eight and a forty seven. Mm -hmm. 48 with 40. Oh, there's two 47s. No 49. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so you're still one. So you're still one. Man, you guys are confusing me. I'm sorry. All right, hammer time. You still want it. What do you want? Circle? Circle red. You only got one red left, huh? Yeah, I'll wait on another order. Let's do, right. let's do the shirt next. Oh, there's only one next. I just kind of, I, I have tons. So I really haven't given away that much. <laughs> um, A new one. Okay. So I said new one. Ah! No, no, he said he said a new one. He said Getting I a said. Number. So I said I said. Mm. We so got I sorted. I said I said a new one. All right, let's what do, do a t-shirt. This one? Yeah, tell us what fucking decal you want. <laughs> Another one. So Same I'm... style as the other one, but it's a new decal. Uh, new logo. It's a large black shirt. Fits the exact same. It's the same freaking thing, I think. Guild and Hammer? Is that the same shirt? Calling yep. <laughs> same fits and everything. Panda, you greasy dog. <laughs> All right, so let's do the shirt. It is 9.51. I'll go to 9.53. Pick again. 1 through 100 starting now after Snatch your Panda. I need that shirt. Reality Kings. Pick the lucky number. <laughs> it still says 49 for the unnecessary re-guess. 1 through 100. This is 6.03. Oh. <laughs> We can't miss 603 day this year. It's like May the 4th for Star Wars, but 603 for us because we're cooler. What's 603? June 3rd. Oh. Ha! <laughs> oh, actually, that could be a good day fishing. Yeah, that could. What? It's a week. I wonder if I can fish then. Probably. Wipe the lotion off your hands before you fish. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm curious. June 3rd. Oh, it's a Thursday. Lame. What did I say I was going to? 9.54? Yeah, 9.54. We got two minutes. Set the damn alarm. Ah, and then we can give away the last rod. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, Speaking of the last rod. 9.54. Okay. 
Everyone go fishing June 3rd to celebrate. Damn right. Hey, while you're out there celebrating, you could consider donating to the stream. <laughs> We're working on a new digital camera for the, uh, Dude, the stream awesome. and the boat and everything. We're getting close. We're actually getting really, well, moderately close. Um, between what we've got for donations so far from the stream and then the money, what little money I made from the apparel sales. Um, like I said, I think we're like two thirds of the way to our goal. I think we have a little over 600 bucks. We're trying to get a little over a thousand and then I'll, I'll make up the difference <clears throat> to get this camera. Uh, and it, it's going to be great for the stream. It's going to simplify my whole setup here. That's for damn sure. Oh, yeah. Are we going to build it? Uh, just get some two by fours, which will probably cost like $300. Build a little table for these mics to mount to. <laughs> $300 for two by fours? Dude, have you seen the price of timber or lumber right now? Dude, I can get wood at work. Oh, yeah. I would be cheeky though about like, but like it's, it's expensive. It's insane. Super expensive. Though like the the cheapest crappy two by fours you can get, like the eight footers at Lowe's was always like two forty something. I think. I know. Well, it's great for like quick little home stupid things. Like mm, for lumber, great. Right I know. But nine fifty four. That's it. Who's the end? Melissa was 62. Oh, I keep picking and taking. Oh, okay. Brian was the last one at 13. Um, yeah, dude, those two by fours, the shitty ones from Lowe's, I think are up to six bucks each now. I saw five Jesus. something. It's, it's utter insanity. $63 for a half inch plywood. It, it's, it's bad. It's real bad. All right. Brian had last one at 13. It's still again at 49. One through 100. So for the t-shirt, generate six. Seven bucks a damn two by here. Oof. Who had six? Dun, 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 Seven. Dun, 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 two, five. Oh, <laughs> Brett, so close. Nobody had six. That sucks. What is this for? The damn it. <laughs> this is a t shirt. Generate 89. That got both of us. Who was that? I'm pretty sure I saw 89. Oh, Chris Steele had 89. Did... Better not have had multiple guesses. But not been anybody else. I don't see. Oh, I think it's it. Double check me. Pretty sure Chris got it. Just bought a sawmill. It'll be here in 54 weeks. What? I really hope you're joking. 54 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you go? Chris Steele, 89. You're the winner, sir. For the shirt. Boys. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know that's Poison weed. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. Chris, are you still here? It's so funny. Come on, buddy. Chris Steele. <laughs> I don't know much red and poison weed. Hit me up. No oh boy. Email me so I can get an extra large shirt. <laughs> I'll trade for a banjo middle. <laughs> Chris, where the hell are you? You won your shirt. Come on. What are you doing? Where is he? I don't know. He's gone. All right. Want to do one more decal? Yeah, I'll do one more decal and then we'll do the last rod. All right. 956. Go now. One through 100. Give away one more decal, then we're gonna do the Mojo Bass Rod. We have done way more work for giveaways tonight than we have I know. for actually talking fishing. I know. If Chris doesn't respond to me relatively soon, then this is gonna go out to somebody else. I don't know. Uh, Wait, I said 958. I'm gonna set my alarm again. I keep getting distracted. The eight. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Me, the people. Hey, buddy. Snatchy, you may end up taking it. If somebody's going to take this if Chris doesn't respond. He just like came here, dropped number, and dropped out. Chris. Chris who? Sam, you already won something, didn't you? You did. Stop it. Logical comment. I just got a bass, Mojo Bass Rod. Love it. Dude, those Mojo Bass Rods are good. Like, I had... How many of those did I have? I've, I've had a couple of them. I think I had five of them at one point. Man, you had the whole freaking... I had the drop shot model. I had three of the spinnerbait models. I thought I had one more. But I think that was it, actually. I think I only had the four. Milliken? Why'd you say Milliken? Question mark. Milliken. What about him? <laughs> Same. 
<laughs> Cheeky bugger. <laughs> bass X. Didn't you have a Bass X? I had oh, a Bass that's X it. And I loved it. Dusty, you had the last guess at number two. Yep, come on, phone. Work with me. Um, tell you what, we'll... This is the decal. We'll take a few more questions for like 10 minutes, and then we'll do the last rod. <clears throat> and then that will keep the stream. That way at least we were talking more. Uh, random number generator. Still at 89. For the last one. Generate. 86. You're kidding me. 86. 86. Who you had? 86. <clears throat> Life is better when you sing everything. Wait, for real? Wow, comments are starting to drop off big time here. No 86. All right, regenerate. Eight. Here, Eight. I actually think I saw that. You're sticking around for that. that That's story. all I care right, about. Like, enough with the damn stickers. I don't care about fishing. I just want the rod. <laughs> 91. That's a little high. No eight. All right. Generate. 43. Please. 47. 46. 53. 45. Oh no. Generate. 97. Actually, please tell me I saw that. Damn it. Generate. 93. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I'm just having <laughs> then one. Multiple 91s. Oh my god. Guys, killing me. 48, maybe? Can we just have that? 45. 46. 38. Oh my god. 47. Uh, Are you kidding me? I'm about to play Price is Right rules here. I quit. <laughs> we still suck at picking numbers. <laughs> well, hardly anybody picked 92. I know nobody picked that. Quit. I've already gone through these too many times. <laughs> I did not. A 91. Oh my god, Ben. Come on. <laughs> oh, you picked after Gene did. Nobody got that. 23, please. This is the worst. No, this isn't a good one. This well, is just not for that a decal. Many people picked. Yeah. Tw wait, 23. 23. Mike Rich. Mike. Finally. The man winner. Two first names. Wait, you're not. You picked multiple times. Ma Mike. Wait, well, he you just said, said 23, 23 twice. a bunch of times. You don't think he knows what's going on. <laughs> he's, he's good. He's good. That's good. All right. Mike, Rich, you want a decal. Which one do you want? You want the old... Uh, that was... The... Dude, I haven't heard from Chris yet. So we might be re-giving away the t-shirt in a second here. To Kelsey Monroe and Ryan. <laughs> Mike, get back to it. Jonathan, I should do 1 through 50, but there's like more people watching than that many numbers. <laughs> no, Snatchy. We're going to redraw. <laughs> I, if you bring me Riley Reed, I'll give you the t-shirt. Maybe I'm not giving away <laughs> another decal. Mike Rich, come on, buddy. Need to hear from you. You want a decal. What do you want? All right. So I saw some questions. All right. I'm going to set an alarm. It's 10.01. We're going to go to 10.10, answering more questions. And then we might be doing two giveaways here. Um, might be doing the... the 10 10 alarm set might be doing uh, the t-shirt and the rod again we'll see Mike you want the t-shirt no yeah, <laughs> surprise you okay right, yeah. what we didn't give you the before, did we? no that's the last one we got to give away all right thank you Mike uh, hit me up on anything Facebook uh, messenger Instagram Twitter I don't care whatever you got and give me your address and stuff please so I can get that decal out to you Talk about fishing this cat gets punched. All right, well, I saw a fishing question. Got any non lead chatter and spinner bait suggestions? I want to try the Rocky, Rocky Ledge stuff. Uh, I have had, I tried one of the Rocky Ledge stuff a couple of years ago, um, and I liked it. I just haven't thrown them again because I kind of feel bad, but I've been in so in love with the jackhammer that I haven't thrown any more of my Rocky Ledge stuff. Sorry. Um, but they're, they're good. You should absolutely give him a try. He makes freaking awesome stuff. Spinner baits, jigs, makes some great painted uh, crankbaits as well. Last I saw, he's got some like different looking stuff too for like swim bait rigs and stuff. You should absolutely look at. So try him. Um, who else might be making them? I think lead, excuse me, lead free bass jigs out of mass. Like his website is leadfreebassjigs.com. 
I think he makes a chatterbait food. A lipless bait. Lipless jig. I think. Um. Let's see here. <clears throat> Richard said, don't forget Wildfly Productions. Short bus diaries. All right, Richard. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you for stopping in and hanging out for the whole time, too. Stop playing the rod. People are watching. That's fine. <laughs> Why do you think he's playing with it now? Everybody watches. <laughs> Ooh, a bigger audience than usual. <laughs> <laughs> a bigger rod than usual. <laughs> uh, what else you got? Fishing questions. We're like this whole stream is kind of a bust. We're supposed to be talking about what do you guys want to learn instead of oh, sex and pot. <laughs> yeah, and giving stuff away. Wait, you know what? It's all good in the end. It's fine. I'm gonna have to change the thumbnail and the title of this though after it goes live and be like, we gave a bunch of stuff away because we hardly did any talking. Yeah, we didn't do shit. <laughs> and that's honestly fine. We had a good time. What's you got for fishing questions, people? This has been by far the best stream we've had so far, as far as numbers go. Concurrent viewers, peak viewers, average watch time, unique playbacks, chat rate's been a little bit higher. Uh, likes, not quite there, but not bad. So, uh, have you guys ever heard of Lake... Nip. No. Nip pissing? Yeah, I can't even say it. My brain's not there. Nip pissing. I'm looking it up. What's your favorite? It's lake on Ontario. In the six in Ontario. oh three. I'm not gonna tell you that. I literally won't tell you. That. Oh Jesus, dude, that's up there. That's what we fished. That's what that is. That's a pretty big lake too. Holy crap! Yeah, it is. Damn, I'll tell you what. God damn, dude, that's a <clears> big <throat> lake. Yeah, but look at. Like all those lakes when you get up there and meet, like I sometimes like to do this. I'll go on maps and I'll look at all the places in uh, Canada. Like the shoreline. It's all nuts. It's insane. Like look how many profits there are. And that's probably all deep water too. That's that's insane. There's probably like ten thousand miles of shoreline. A fishable shoreline in here. Probably. Easily. That's absolute insanity. Oh, dude, that's like, look at how good the satellite image is here. Tony has way better satellite Oh, dude, we have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> so many questions. Favorite drop shot worm? Uh, look at uh, that Beast sandbar. Oh, my God, I need to go here. Jesus Christ, this place looks awesome. Like look at all that thing. ledge. What line I'm coming. do you We're gonna use go. for your jackhammer? <laughs> you can answer that one since you use them all the time. Um, Let's see here. We can back up. Holy crap, we got to back way up. We missed a lot. Holy crap. <laughs> um, okay, so Canadian anglers, no, but now I have, and I am insanely intrigued. I want to go. Favorite lake in the 603 that I'm willing to disclose? Squam. Um, when do you know it's the right time to switch lures? When I've gone more than three minutes out of the bike. <laughs> Dude, I'm the fucking worst. Yeah, How you are. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go hours without a bite, and I'll still throw the same thing, and then all of a sudden I'll be like, "Oh, six pounder." But then, or I'll catch nothing. There are some days I have all 14 rods I own out in the deck, and I'll like five casts, pick a rod, five casts, pick a rod, five casts. Cast, I'm like, I'll figure him out. And I have three, <laughs> and I'll take three out. With me. <laughs> um, well, lately it's been a little bit more. Like both like just absolute crap and yet also a little more straightforward in that they're literally biting nothing or they're biting the one thing. So um I don't know, that's kinda hard to answer. This has been kind of a, a crap shoot, but I'll go through like my like three or four spots that generally in the past have just absolutely been killed for our something. One of the five lures I've tied on. And I'll go through all five of those. And if that doesn't work, then I know I need a drastic change. And so for me, it's not just changing a lure. It's changing like a whole series and presentation that I'm throwing. But I got to go through like a couple of like highest probability areas where I've had a crazy amount of success doing that kind of stuff before I'm going to make that change. Um, Eric Morales. Favorite style, rat style bait? BDZ 50. The biggest one I make. Um, that was Sprow. Sprow. Yeah. The big Sprow rat, the biggest one you can get. They need to make a bigger one. Yes, they do. Uh, Joy of the Catch. How would you break down a lake using Google Maps? If you go back a few episodes in this series, we literally did that for a whole stream. Mm -hmm. 
Everything you need to know is in that stream. Yep. Jason, I want to learn how to talk my wife into going pro. All right, so first off, I know of a divorce lawyer that you can get in touch with. Start there. Because <laughs> that's the only way it's going to happen. Yeah, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> Uh, what tournaments in New Hampshire are you fishing this year from Danny? We're going to do a couple of the Merrimack Valley Bass ones. Cause, try to. Yeah, we know those guys, and that'd be fun. Yeah. Laid back, cheap buy-in. It's just all about having fun with those guys. Um, my other buddy, Travis Rocket, asked me if I would fish one of the Bass Nation Opens on Winnipesaukee in early May. And I think I might do that with him. He's going to do all the pre-fishing, and he's good. He knows that lake really well. I'm hoping I can at least try and catch a fish on my birthday this year. I think you will. I'll figure it's it out. It's not we'll that rig far up. away. It's eight days away. We'll rig something <laughs> up. You need to put like a rod holder, like you can stuff it in there. Just like, yeah! <laughs> just brace the whole thing against your arm Duct and you can still reel it. <laughs> That'll work. Uh, no. no. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> um, mm. Dong Swampy. Best fishing strategies for this weekend in Kettle Ponds. Follow the wind. Follow the damn wind. Yeah, pretty much. Favorite drop shot worm? You first. He's first. Yep. Magic Flick. They just released the four inch version of it. I've been asking for him to do that the last two years, and he finally just did it. And he got a black color too. Like the two, and a goby color. The three things I was asking for black, goby, and a four inch version or something bigger. Because at a certain point in the summer, they just stop eating a three and a half inch worm, and you gotta throw a four inch or bigger. Generally, even like a five inch one, and even the smallmouth, like they all, all video game fish the hell out of them, drop down, they won't touch shit. That's not at least four and a half inches or whatever. And literally, you drop down and watch fish come up and look at it, and he'll just he'll screw right off back to the bottom and hang there. Pick up another rod, drop straight down with that just a bigger worm, all of a sudden, he just inhales it. So, uh, Beast Coast, uh, oh, we're out of time, time to give, give away. We'll answer a few more questions. Um, Reaction innovations, flirt worm, zoom trick worm, like those are all my go tos. Yeah. Pen dog, real quick. I love the filthy anglers because the polarization is in between the layers and it's not on top. So you cannot scratch the, the polarization off the lenses. Yep. Um, what <coughs> line do you use for a jackhammer? That was right. You told me that. Um, mm -hmm. I go back and forth, <clears throat> either straight 20 pound fluoro. But what I have actually really liked even better lately is straight braid, like 20 to 30 pound braid because I can feel the vibration of that when I am slow rolling the hell out of it. And when it gets stuck in the weeds, I can just kind of crack my wrist a little bit and it pops free versus like having to really rip on straight floral. And I've only missed a couple of fish on it. So like, I just like braid better. It works better. And then Pen Dog with the questions. Um, I like his filthy English. I've tried those on. I really like them. That's my dog trying to get in here. Watch this. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What's up? Where are you going? Don't knock anything over. Um, no. Come here, you turkey. Over that way. Yep. Come here, fatty. Hey, come here. I got snacks. No, no, this one. No, get me something. Oh, snacks. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Get me in the food. Sorry. Um, I have the amphibia depth charges. They're floating. You can replace the lenses. I think they're 180 is normal retail price. I was on their pro staff for a little bit. Um, and that was a, a one-way relationship, so I ended my partnership with them because I was getting zero help from them. And that's not the way it should be. I don't even care if it's a pro staff thing. Like, it should be a two-way street of support. And they were giving me nothing, literally nothing. Every other company that I've worked with has at least helped me out in some way, shape, or form for as much as I've helped them out. It doesn't have to be, you know, even 50-50, but there has to be some effort on their hey. part. Oi! Get over here. Yeah, you can take everything out. Okay, you're gone. Hey. Yeah, you're fine. Go. No, yeah. <laughs> um, but I really like their sunglasses. They're great. For those, I had Wiley X's, and those were fantastic. I still have them. They're my backup pair, just in case. Um, holy Christ. All right, no more questions. We're going to give giveaway stuff. Yep. Um, Dan, there you go. How do you fish know they're being pressured? How do fish know they're being pressured? When you're not catching them. Yeah. When to fish sun versus shade? Uh, sun early in the year, shade in the middle of the year. Sun late in the year. I keep it pretty simple. Yeah, pretty much. Any bass act? When are we going fishing? Anytime you want now, because my partner's down. Sorry. 
<laughs> ah, Man. logic comment. Any tips for starting off jig fishing? It's been tough. I'll tell you where to cast. <laughs> Wait, what? You need to say something starting off jig fishing. <clears throat> it's been tough. Jesus. Sorry. Watch super... any video from the last <laughs> three months. Yep. We've covered jigs. Jigs extensively. This is episode 13. I think we've covered jigs in eight of these streams. Yeah. Easily. <clears throat> there's a lot like there. There's, there's, that's a loaded question. It there's, is. There's too much to go over right now. Look through them. There, I mean, we talk about them for small mouth. We talk about them for large mouth. For like just after ice out. With like a, a bunch of different things. Like pick whatever one you're looking for. Uh, and watch one of those videos. If it's sunny out tomorrow, if you're going out tomorrow or this weekend and it's sunny out, throw it rocks, throw it timber, and just drag it. You don't have to pop it crazy, just drag it. Yep. You should get a couple fish. Jamie, have you guys ever caught two fish in the same cast? And if so, lure once. I have. N I don't know. I know. I have, me and Josh. I don't did. think I did. I it don't was think I had. before we knew any better. We were bed fishing, like before I knew what spawn was. Well, the first time I've fish, ever fished up in the lakes region. Uh, well, probably like second or third year into it. But I always went for largemouth. So it was like one of the first times I started targeting smallmouth. We are up on the thing. We, we just kind of knew like, oh, look, a big bright circle. So they're, they're on beds. Maybe at this point we actually did know better. Regardless, my buddy Josh pitched it, his jig onto a bed. And I saw the fish swipe on it and then turn. And like I was being cheeky. I pitched my jig right into the bed at the same time as him. And... We we're just both laughing our asses off, and I saw, I thought I saw the fish miss his jig and then pick mine up, and we both set the hook at the same exact time, and we both hooked the fish. Like, we're both reeling in, and like, he was like, I got it. I'm like, no, I got it. And we thought, well, we both got one. We didn't even see the second one. And we both went to bolt hook at the same time, and all of a sudden, this fucking two pound smallmouth is suspended in the middle of the air between us, and I almost pissed myself. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, we gotta get going. No, Mike, I'm not fishing the bass open on Winnie this weekend. Merrimack Valley, they're, they're good dudes. What technique have you never tried before or plan to this year? You first. It's not running. <laughs> yeah, uh, glide. Because I barely touched it last year, so for me, the glide bait this year. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't really know. I don't really think we... Together, I think we've pretty much done we've almost done everything. everything. We have. Um, At least once. When do you think spawn is going to start this year? Dude, I have no idea, Josh. Our weather has been so wildly up and down, it's hard to say. September? It could be in two weeks or it could <laughs> be in two months. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Maybe not two months, but... All right. Um, Let's get through this good boy. Yeah, all right. Let me rifle through these. Me, the people. Wait. Do you guys no, favor chartreuse for bass? <laughs> yep. One of my best producing baits is 100% chartreuse. Load up or slack line hook up. Load up every time. Um, oh, good. You call your dog turkeys as well. You got it. <clears throat> I'm not going to Squam anytime soon. Pave that place. So many of the guys like a week ago. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, Squam start in July. Yeah, seriously. All right, time to give away. We're doing the rod? That's all that's left, right? No, we have a t-shirt too. I never heard back from whoever the hell it was. Chris. Sorry, Chris. You missed out, bud. Scratch his name. All right, t-shirt is 1016. Let's go to 1018. 1 through 100. Go. Black t-shirt. New logo. We'll answer questions in the meantime. It's 1016. You got time. Again, it's a large black shirt, new logo. It fits nice. It sits pretty long. So for taller people, it's it's wicked nice. Um, it will shrink a little bit. It's not, I don't think it's pre-shrunk. I don't think. So you just keep that in mind. If you're going to wash it and then dry it, it's probably going to shrink up on you. I, I'm 6'2", 240 pounds. And that large fits maybe a little tight. I need to get down about another 10 pounds. <laughs> and it'll fit very comfortable. I wear a large. I wear that large. Yeah, but you're what, 215? What? No. No. I don't know what you are. I'm guessing. No, you know, you're like 190 something, aren't you? Yeah, I'm like 185, 190. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought you were just over 200. Not fat, like, because you, you got good muscle mass. We got. 1018. I have one muscle mass. <laughs> that's, that's it. The one under the table. <laughs> Get your numbers in. Let me go back to radio. Number generator. 1018. We're looking for it. Still 1017. Still at 23. 1 through 100. 
Give away the shirt. I don't know what the hell happened to Chris. He was here and he was gone. Snoozy lose, buddy. Let me answer. Oh, there was a question. Oh, 1018. Last one was John at number 34. Primary Sam. I got your message. Insta. Gotta make sure where these messages are coming through. John was the last one. I'm gonna go back to the top first. Smart. Alright, you're still at 23. 45. Starting right at the top. Peter. Peter! Peter R. Peterson. That's a fake name. You have two first names now. <laughs> Peter, congrats. Holy crap, that was great. We only get that out of the way right off the right. bat. <laughs> I really hope nobody's watching with headphones. They're gonna be like, I'm deaf. <laughs> congrats, Peter. Hope you're still here. You're gonna message me in the chat though. Make sure that you got this. There you are. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Appreciate it. Sweet. All right. Who wants to win a St. Croix Mojo Rod? Sorry, this took a little bit longer than I anticipated. It is 1018, 1019. All right, we go to 1022. Starting now. After Peter's last comments, I will DM you on Insta. So starting now until 1022, 1 through 100. And it's still on 45, 1022. I need to set my alarm so I can answer a question. Because I saw that there was a question. 1022. Okay. All right. So, oh, we got to tell everybody what the rod is. Um, <laughs> if I win this giveaway, you guys are taking me to secret hole. Snatch, you're not going to win. Oh, Canadian wants to know what our PB largies are. I just reset mine last September. Seven pounds, five ounces out of Lake Winnipesaukee, New Hampshire. Mine is seven pounds, seven ounces out of I can't tell you where. And Back in my boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we did say this earlier. It's a uh, it's Saint Croix Mojo Bass. It's the jig slash baits model. Seven foot one, medium heavy power, fast action. Yep. Mm -hmm. Rated three eighths to one ounce. That's another like just that is a good good all round jig rod. rod. Little rash at the hook reel. Uh, the um, hook keeper. The yeah, I would say the cork's still in really good shape. You know, it's a little dirty for he's been palming it, but you know, like the real seat end to the butt end, there's not much difference at all. So he really hasn't used that much. He like, took care of his stuff. Yeah, he did. Even the paint is in like damn near impeccable condition. That's a dude, that's another really good rod. He really didn't use these. Brand new. Damn. He's a champ. There's a little bit of rash up here. Oh, you know what? I don't even think that's a rash. I think that's just like bash schmutz. Yeah, yep. no, that'll clean right off. That's a great rod, and it's yeah, they they definitely changed the blanks from the last ones I had. I think so first too, gens. The other ones were like super heavy. Yep. And like clunky. Love these rods. <clears throat> They've been great. All right. Um. Saint Croix has always made a good rod. That they have. Uh, Gene, stop talking about my rod. I see Riley Reed number two. <laughs> Uh, Peter, just got your message. All right, two requests. I got multiple requests here. Honestly, I don't Jackson. know. Jackson. I don't know if snapping turtle populations have, like the big snappers, I don't know if they really have a, any impact. They don't oh. really eat that much. I mean, they do, but they don't. They eat maybe like a couple bluegill a day. Yeah, nothing like crazy. No. Oh. Do, 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 do. Alarm's gonna go off in a minute. Hope you guys got your numbers in. Jerry only got three keeper bass and a giant pickerel, which he managed to almost lose his thumb on. Is that a pike? That's a pike. It is, oh, yeah, you're right. Yep. There's one. There it is. That's it. Done. Jerry? It is Jerry. That's what I just said. Me, the people, 69's last one. <laughs> or Riley Reed's number two. Holy crap. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Thank you, Jamie. Dude, this hugely appreciated. Thank you. God damn, we're like really freaking close to that next goal. Yeah. It's yeah. going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. We, we should just... I'm not even really close to that. Well, you don't really... I mean, you're working, but you're not working? I'm half working. You're half working. I'm a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, thank you, Jamie. That is, that's fucking awesome. Kinda. Thank you. As bad as it is, all right, time to give away. Uh, all right, it was still at 45 for the last one. Again, this is for the St. Croix Mojo Bass. Generate 61. Going 
through slowly. Oh God, Bob had 62. Bob has been one off on so many guesses. <laughs> Bob, I'm so sorry, you have my luck. New Hampshire fishing gal. Oh, she already won. Oh, you can't win two, I'm sorry. Oh no. Let me make sure there wasn't anybody else that already also picked 61 before her. Wait, did she, what did she win? She did, she won a, the other Lunker's Rod. Oh, oh my God, what, that, now that's some luck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you right? won two, you could have won, but we only do one winner each. I'm so sorry. Um, nice try, Grat. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, we're doing the last rod that we had. All right, regenerate. 65, going back through. This is for the St. Croix Mojo Bass Rod. 65, 65. I'm kind of surprised this didn't randomly, randomly generate 69 yet. Mm. Oh, God. Jonathan Blake had 66. Oh, Chris. Christopher at 65. Is he the first and only? Jonathan, you voted twice. 65, Chris, yeah. Chris, wait. I don't know. Why did he type it twice? Whatever. I think he was just making sure. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. You got it. It's not the same Chris that bailed on this t-shirt, is it? Nope. That was, no, that was, yeah, that's a different one. Actually, wow. That's the third Chris that we've had win tonight. Nice. Hang on. Chris, hit me up wherever you want. Any social media. Congrats, dude. Congratulations. Hopefully you're local so I can... Just like meet up with you somewhere. Six <laughs> Gordy, when's that cast coming off? It just got on. <laughs> yeah, it just got on. Who knows? It could be I don't know, two months. It could be freaking three months. I don't know yet. Find out Monday. I'll let you know. That's it. That's everything. That's all the giveaways. Alright, so I got a list of everybody that won. Hopefully everybody hit me up. I think everybody has at this point. Email you. Okay, that works for me, Chris. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. It's already 1024. Alright. So Apologies for not really talking about what you guys want to learn. Maybe we'll just we'll do that next week when we'll actually just focus on chat. Yeah, we should probably do that because we didn't do that at all. <laughs> no. So I get now I gotta change the thumbnail and everything. <laughs> Take calcium and vitamin D. Is that a joke? <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that. <laughs> but the way he treats himself, he's probably gonna vitamin D to put <laughs> I gotta vitamin D deficiency. myself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is awesome. Thank you all very much. This ended up turning into basically just a giveaway stream. But uh, this is great. And big thanks to our friend Nate for donating those rods so we could do this. Um, actually worked out too. Technically, Mint Printworks was a donator as well. They had two extra shirts, which is why we were able to do this giveaway. It went and picked up um, one last hat that I had to get. They had a little mishap with the very last print run from when all these were made. And it was for my buddy. So... Thankfully, it worked out because he totally understood. But they had two extra shirts and they hooked us up. So we were able to do that. I still have a bunch of decals. I'm going to be selling decals really soon. So we'll be doing that. And then, uh, yeah, again, thank you, Nate, very much for hooking us up with the rods. We do this giveaway. This was this chat killed it tonight. Guys, thank you. Between the donations, how many people were watching. Like, this was an absolutely phenomenal night. One of the best we've had yet. Actually, the best we've had. Average watch time, playbacks, yeah. top viewers, the number of concurrent viewers. Like, this was phenomenal. So, thank you all. Greatly appreciate it. Um, make sure to give yourself a stranger. Well, I am a lefty, and this is my <laughs> left hand, so I don't really have a choice. It helps heal bone. Thank you, Ben. Help. I'll give that a try. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Thank Could you, you go trolling with one hand? Would you want to? I have a trolling rod. I swear to God, hold on. It's got a big do it. pen freaking... Oh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Danny, yes, I'm going to be selling decals. I'm actually, I should be having decals in hand, we'll say in about two weeks. Danny Tanner, isn't that the guy from freaking Full, Full House? Yes, it is. It was the father. <laughs> okay. Um, Dusty, I am in, I'm in Milford, so. OG decal. I'll, I'll, I'll post when decals are ready. I'm going to have white, blue, red, and then I've got these new circle ones too. Although I think I've given quite a bit of those away. Bob, thank you, man. Greatly appreciate it. And thank you, Chris. Thank you, Gene. Thank you, Kevin. Hammer time. Andrew, you should probably wear the shades next week. Why? I'm curious. Thank you, Brian, Sir Altitude, Chris, and Lisa, Kotu, Ben, and Donk Swampy. Greatest name in the chat. Actually, it helps it in here. Thank you, Donk. I'm going to go out and hopefully get on at least a couple of swim bait fish tomorrow. I'm going to make sure I get caught up on all the rules and stuff. And make sure my scale is set, the secret code word, and all that stuff. Chris, did I get the email? Yes, I did. Thank you. Um... Joe, you're very welcome. 
Shut, 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 shut. Wait, what did he say before that? I don't know. He said, where are the shades? And they said, sha ha ha ha. <laughs> Probably thinks I'm stoned. Probably. <laughs> Wait, how did I just notice that Andrew looks like Eric Church? Who's Eric Church? He's a country guy. Oh. Thanks for popping in, Dave. Appreciate it, buddy. Hammer time. Good night. All right, Paul. Good night. Everybody, good night. Right. Done. He's getting up early. I'm getting up early. Melissa, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm going to sign this off. Sir, you know how to do this. Bye, guys. See ya. <laughs> Get the hell out. I want to go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> Have a good week, everyone. We will be back here next Thursday, same time. See you later.